Chapter 641, Sword 1, I'm Jian Yi. The white-robed old man stroked his beard and laughed. Sword 1, hearing this, Tang Huan and Feng Ming were both startled. Someone actually gave such a strange name. Jian Yi smiled and said to Tang Huan, Little fellow, I knew about you years ago. However, your cultivation was still low then so I never saw you again. It was only until this old man found out that you had stepped into the heavenly domain realm did he finally enter the turbid sea area to look for you. Senior Jian Yi, you went to the turbid sea area as well? Was startled, unexpectedly. Jian Yi had also gone to the turbid sea area, which meant, when he had returned to the tranquil continent, Jian Yi already knew that he had stepped into the heavenly domain. Not only would he know his position, he would also be able to determine his cultivation base. This made Tang Huan feel a chill in his heart. Even Fen Tian could only use that soul imprint to determine his position, but it was impossible for him to confirm his cultivation without even seeing his own face. Could it be that Jian Yi had done something to him all these years ago? At that time, his cultivation was weak, and Jian Yi was already a heavenly domain level expert. If he wanted to make a move, he could do it without anyone noticing. That's right. Ji and Yi nodded his head at first, but then he laughed involuntarily, as if he had already seen through Tang Huan's thoughts. Little fellow, don't think that this old man is so sinister and scary. The reason I know about your condition is only because you have fused with a large amount of your sword seal in the Mazi Sword Valley. Mazi Sword Valley. The Sword Seal. Tang Huan and Feng Ming looked at each other. At that time, Feng Ming and Zhao Budian had also been there. However, Feng Ming was just a young girl who had not recovered her strength. Feng Ming did not say anything more and continued to look for. In order to break out of the maze, Tang Huan continuously cracked spirit map. In an extremely short period of time, he gathered 108 sword seal, shocking the world. After leaving the valley, Tang Huan absorbed the sword seal and soul force causing it to strengthen rapidly. After that, Tang Huan encountered many soul attacks, all because he relied on the boundless sword intent in his soul to remain safe and sound. For example, the soul-killing storm that he had encountered with Fen Tian two times just now. Even though that divine sense and soul consolidation method had contributed greatly, it was impossible to endure without the powerful sword soul as a foundation. At that time, Tang Huan did not feel anything unusual with the sword seal and up until now, he still had not discovered anything strange about his soul. However, from the words that Jian Yi had said just now, it was obvious that those sword seal contained some sort of hidden danger, it was just that he could not discover them himself. Kid, do you know where that Mazi sword valley came from? Without waiting for Tang Huan's answer, he answered, actually. The Sword Valley was created by this old man. What? Tang Huan could not help but exclaim. Feng Ming also opened her beautiful eyes wide, and the person who laid down the Mazi Sword Valley, was actually the old man named Jian Yi in front of her. That sword crafting valley had a long history, and this Mazi Sword Valley appeared just after the appearance of the sword crafting valley. If he calculated it this way, wouldn't Jian Yi's age have reached an extremely shocking level? One must know that the oldest of the three families, Xing Meng, was only four or five hundred years old. After a while, Tang Huan came back to reality and could not help but ask, I wonder why Senior has set that Mazi Sword Valley down? How did Senior learn about this Junior's situation through the Sword Seal? This is a long story. Jian Yi laughed and slowly said, Little fellow. I believe you already know that the continents we're on are only a small world. Outside of this small world is the boundless forging god great world apostrophe. It is said that this small world was separated from the forging god great world. Tang Huan nodded, but a look of surprise couldn't help but flash past his eyes. He had once heard Xing Meng talk about the history of this small world, but he didn't know if this matter had anything to do with the Mazi Sword Valley. Indeed, after the great battle back then, a small region of the Forging God Great World broke apart, forming this small world. The remnants of the great battle had all sorts of energy crisscrossing each other, forming the extremely dangerous Turbid Sea Area apostrophe, 
isolating this small world from the forging god great world. From then on, it would be as difficult as ascending to the heavens for the martial warriors s of this small world. At that time, a human clan ranker who instigated that great war felt guilty, and built a Lingzhao ancient road, giving the cultivators of this small world a path to advancement. The stronger people, can reach the forging god great world through the Lingzhao ancient road. At the same time, in order to prevent the powerful characters of the forging god great world from intruding through the turbid sea area, this place was brought about a calamity, and they even brought in a lightning region at the border of the turbid sea area. Even if one had strength above heavenly domain, when passing through the space aircraft and passing through the lightning domain, they would still receive heavy injuries, and their strength would definitely fall below the heavenly domains. Not only that, the expert even left three sword seal here as compensation. The lightning territory actually came. Tang Huan suddenly understood, before that Gu Yu and the rest entered the small world, they should have been experts of heavenly domain or above, in the end they were all injured in the Thunder Dominion, their cultivation dropped to the stage 9, and even after many years, their cultivation had only reached the realm of the peak stage 9. Suddenly, Tang Huan couldn't help but say, Senior, I don't know about those three sword seal. Out of the three sword seal, two of them are no longer in this small world. The only one left is this old man. The sword light stroke was like a long, snowy beard, his face full of smiles. Senior is actually a single set of sword seal. Tang Huan and Feng Ming's face were filled with disbelief. Zhao Budian and Zhao Ai who were quietly by the side also seemed to understand what he was saying, and they blinked their eyes in surprise. Exactly. As long as one can pass the test set by the sword seal, once one enters the forging god great world from the Ling Zhao ancient road, they would be able to join the sect where the expert is located and become his successor disciple. Several thousand years. Jian San has already followed a martial warriors who has passed the examination to the forging god great world. Over a thousand years ago, there was another person who passed the test of Jian Er and entered the forging god great world with him. A few years ago, you little fellow have passed this old man's test. Senior Jian Yi, when did this junior pass the test? Tang Huan was stunned. The Mazi Sword Valley is the test this old man has set for you. She was smiling from between her brows. Looking at Tang Huan with eyes full of praise, Chapter 642, Ling Zhao Sword Sect Could it be that gathering 108 sword seal meant passing senior's test? Tang Huan said in surprise, No, I only need 81 sword seal. Your ability to gather 108 sword seal is completely beyond this old man's expectations. Over a hundred years before you, there was a little fellow who gathered 72 sword seal. Unfortunately, he was still lacking a little. If that little guy was able to gather 9 more sword seal, the Mazi Sword Valley would have lost its effect very quickly, and this old man would have left this small world a long time ago. Hearing this, Tang Huan couldn't help but feel ashamed. The reason he was able to gather 108 sword seal was mainly because there was an existence of a nine yang divine furnace within his body. The little fellow from over a hundred years ago should be the glory emperor. He was truly outstanding for being able to gather 72 sword seal s. With a quick thought, Tang Huan suddenly asked with some doubt, Senior, Gathering 81 sword seal is extremely difficult for weapon refining master s and high ranking weapon refiner s, but for weapon refining grandmaster s, it shouldn't be difficult, right? The Mazi Sword Valley this old man has set up his targeting weapon refining master s and those below. The sword laughed, although that sword valley is accessible to anyone, only weapon refining master s and those below can draw out spirit map s. Activate the sword stone and obtain sword seal. So that's how it is. Tang Huan subconsciously nodded. Those 108 sword stones all contain this old man's mind stigma, and the sword seal in every sword stone is also formed by this old man's soul energy. Every time someone from the Mazi Sword Valley gathers a sword seal that exceeds the previous record, the sword stone will activate the sword aura and condense it into form arriving at where this old man is. Therefore, not long after you left the Mazi Sword Valley, 
this old man knew about you, I see. Tang Huan suddenly realized, at that time when he left the Sword Valley, the Sword Chi condensed into a giant sword, and after that, the sword pierced through the sky, no one knowing where it went. Now, Tang Huan finally understood, it was actually pulled away by the sword. After a moment, Tang Huan could not help but ask, Junior fused with Sword Seal, which is tantamount to absorbing Senior's soul force, does Senior only know about Junior's situation after this? Yes, and no. The sword laughed, ordinary weapon refiner, no matter how much Sword Seal they fuse with, this old man will not be able to sense their situation. Only those who can stimulate the Sword Chi and form the Sword Chi will be able to sense their existence. This was because after the Sword Chi was formed, there would be a strand of Sword Intent fusing into their souls. This Sword Intent is fused with the Sword Intent that has evolved from the absorption of Sword Seal from their souls, so it will not be noticed by others in the end. As for these Weapon Refiner S, even if they did not gather 81 sword seal, they will still become the object of this old man's observation. The little fellow before you, this old man had observed him for many years, but sadly, he is too distracted with miscellaneous work. Although he is extremely talented and has passed through the Lingzhao ancient road successfully, and entered the forging god great world, I'm afraid that his future cultivation path will be rather difficult. As he finished speaking, Ji and Yi shook his head in regret, then looked at Tang Huan and smiled, Little fellow, you don't have to worry about the sword intent that will cause your soul to be controlled by this old man. This old man is made up of sword seal, and whether it is this old man, or those sword darts that have long left the forging god great world, they exist to compensate the life forms of this little world. The person who passed the test, was the master of the sword seal. Of course. You are still only half this old man's master. If you can pass the test that the expert had set up in the Lingzhao ancient road, then you will be this old man's true master. There's still a test for the Lingzhao ancient road. Tang Huan was startled. That's right. According to the imagination of the expert who left behind the three sword seal back then, every time the cultivation path in this small world recovered to a certain degree, there would be a set of sword seal moving out. And when this old man moved, it meant that this small world had already returned to the lowest standards of a forging god great world. At this time, the person who passes through this old man's test, once they enter the Lingzhao ancient road, will activate the test that the expert left behind back then. Once they pass the test, they will be able to completely connect to the Lingzhao ancient road, and in this small world, Live forms with a certain level of cultivation will be able to pass through the ancient path and enter the forging god great world any time they want. Initially, they could only enter a small world into the forging god great world, but after 30 years, the forging god great world could also enter a small world. Senior Jian Yi, that means, I must pass the Lingzhao ancient roads test. In order to make this broken small world return to the forging god great world, the ranker had done all sorts of things. However, his methods made Tang Huan smile bitterly. Once he entered the Lingzhao ancient road, he would be put to the test. This made him feel as if he was being forcefully pulled onto a pirate ship. Indeed, little fellow, there's no need to be distressed. After passing the test, you have completely mastered the entire Lingzhao ancient road. Not only will it benefit the people of this small world, you will also be able to obtain great benefits. Now, it is this old man who can sense your situation, but once you pass the test, the situation will be completely reversed. You will become the old man's true master, and not only will you be able to easily sense my situation, you will also be able to absorb this old man's power and raise your soul to an extremely tyrannical level. With such a good foundation, in the future, you will join that ranker's sect and become his successor disciple. Your path of cultivation will be a smooth path, and it might not take long for you to appear in the forging god great world, and become famous in the world. Ji and Yi's words were filled with an extremely strong enticement. I seem to have no other choice. Tang Huan rubbed his forehead, and laughed somewhat helplessly. Senior Jian Yi, I wonder who that ranker is, 
and what sect he belongs to. That expert's surname is Yun. In the Forging God Great World, he is known as the Sword Ancestor, and the sect she belongs to is the Ling Zhao Sword Sect. It is one of the strongest sects in the Forging God Great World. Ji and Yi narrowed his eyes, his eyes filled with reverence. Yun Zan, Ling Zhao Sword Sect. After muttering these words softly once, Tang Huan asked with some curiosity. Does senior know what the test in the Ling Zhao ancient road is like? You will know this in the future, little fellow. Don't say any more. When the Ling Zhao arch appears in the future, this old man will reunite with you. As soon as he finished speaking, Ji and Yi's figure had already faded away, disappearing without a trace in the blink of an eye. Chapter 643 Another Plan? A moment later. The sound of noisy voices and messy footsteps echoed from the passage. The surprised Tang Huan and Feng Ming finally understood that the reason Jian Yi left so quickly was because he did not want anyone else to discover his whereabouts. Those who would come here now should be experts from the human clan and the Tian, Heaven, clan allied forces. Not long after, dozens of figures rushed into the heavenly devil cave. At the front was a muscular man in red with a huge sword on his back. Following closely was a young man dressed in black clothes. He looked to be in his twenties, and was similarly tall and big. Brother Tang Huan, scanning with their eyes, the two of them looked at Tang Huan and shouted out in surprise, almost at the same time. Big Brother Gu Ying, Big Brother Kaiyu Jian. As he glanced at the two figures, Apart from being surprised, Tang Huan couldn't help but laugh. At this moment, the ones who had brought people into the Heavenly Devil Cave were Gu Ying and Kaiyu Jian. After a period of not seeing him, Gu Ying had already stepped into the eighth step of Martial Lord, and his cultivation had also risen to the peak of the seventh step. The people who came in with the two were also Stage 7 Martial Master. Whoosh! Tang Huan's figure moved and appeared in front of Gu Ying and his body. I didn't expect that you two would arrive so quickly. All along the way, we seem to be constantly on the move. Gu Ying laughed. What a pity. This abyss city is already completely empty. I didn't even see a single demon clansman. After a slight pause, he asked with some curiosity. Brother Tang Huan, I heard from Royal Your Highness that you came here first to kill Fan Tian. Did you find him? Found it. Tang Huang laughed. Where is he? Gu Ying could not help but say, the way Kaiyu Jian and the rest looked at Tang Huang was also filled with excitement. From today onwards, Fan Tian will no longer exist in our world. Tang Huang smiled lightly. There will not be another Fan Tian? Gu Ying was startled for a moment, then suddenly woke up, staring at the bell-like eyes. He exclaimed in disbelief. Fen Tian died? Brother Tang Huan, you really killed Fen Tian? Ha ha, good kill, good killing. No wonder Abyss City was so empty. It seems like he was scared by Brother Tang Huan. Dot. The news of Fen Tian's death spread like wildfire among the vanguard troops of the human clan and the others. For a time, the earth-shaking shouts echoed throughout the Abyss and the entire city began to boil. The heavenly devil gave, however, had already calmed down. Gu Ying and Kaiyu Jian had personally led people to guard the entrance of the cave, in order to prevent anyone from intruding and disturbing Tang Huan. Deep inside the cave, space aircraft was lying on the ground, glowing with a green light. Inside the aircraft, Uzi's body had already relaxed as he laid down flat on the ground and laid down beside Uzi's head. Tang Huan closed his eyes slightly and sat cross-legged on the ground quietly. Both of his palms were placed above Uzi's and Zhao's head and a dark blue aura continuously poured down from his palms, covering the two heads and penetrating inside them like silk. After Fan Tian had completely died, the soul imprint between his eyebrows had disappeared and the energy Fen Tian used to restrict his soul had disappeared as well. However, Uzi's soul had been imprisoned for so many years, and it was already extremely weak. It wouldn't be easy for him to wake up. What Tang Huan needed to do now was to nourish Uzi's soul. As long as his soul recovered to a certain degree, this old man would naturally wake up. Compared to Uzi, Zhao Ai's situation was much better. He would recover in at most five or six days. Time trickled by. After a long time, Tang Huan finally let out a long sigh of relief. 
and slowly withdrew his palms. Zhao Ai squinted his eyes and fell into a deep sleep, while the old man remained motionless with his eyes closed tight. Yeah, Zhao Buddy and puffed his stomach and jogged over to the side of the little white rabbit. However, Feng Ming's gaze was focused on Tang Huan, and suddenly opened his mouth. Tang Huan, do you believe what Jian Yi said? I don't seem to have any other choice but to believe it. Tang Huan frowned. When we were still at the Turbid Sea area, he should have found us and observed us from the side. From the Turbid Sea area to the Dark Abyss, and then to this place. If I hadn't fused with the sharp spiritual fire this time, I might not have been able to discover him. When you passed the examination in Mazi Sword Valley, you were still only in Stage 6 Martial Master and your cultivation was extremely low. At that time, it would have been understandable if he had observed in the dark and didn't show himself. However, even after knowing that you have advanced to Heavenly Domain, he still hid himself and did not appear. If it wasn't for you telling him to hide, he probably wouldn't have shown his face. He probably doesn't have any good intentions in doing things in such a sneaky manner. Feng Ming frowned, and said with some worry. Indeed. Tang Huan nodded, the things he said about Sword Seal, Ling Zhao Ancient Road and Ling Zhao Sword Sect, should all be true. As for the other things, after saying that, Tang Huan's face darkened. Regardless if what Sword One said was true or false, there was one thing that Tang Huan found difficult to tolerate, and that was that the sword intent in his soul was actually hiding Sword One's mind stigma. To Tang Huan, this was like a ticking time bomb, no one knew when it would suddenly explode. Although the sword said that after passing the Ling Zhao Ancient Road test, Tang Huan could become its master, and could even absorb its power to strengthen its soul, Tang Huan still found it hard to believe that after passing the Ling Zhao Ancient Road test, Tang Huan could become its master, and could absorb its power to strengthen his soul, but Tang Huan still found it hard to believe. Let's not think too much about it for now. In a moment, Tang Huan's brows relaxed, and he sneered, if Sword One has any other intentions, then I, Tang Huan am not someone to be trifled with. Right now, his strength does indeed want to surpass mine. But there is still quite some time until the appearance of Ling Zhao Arch. At that time, I might not be any weaker than him. That's right, with your cultivation speed, when you enter the Ling Zhao Ancient Road, your strength will increase by leaps and bounds. There's indeed no need to be afraid of others. Feng Ming smiled beautifully. Feng Ming, in the future, other than being in the space aircraft, do not bring up this matter again. Within the space aircraft, if I were to activate the aircraft, don't mention it. Tang Huan suddenly warned. I see. Feng Ming was startled, and immediately became frightened. Every single move of Tang Huan's, the mind stigma that had number one sword, would be discovered by him. But inside the space aircraft, it was equivalent to an independent space. It could sever the connection between the mind stigma and sword one. But of course, that was only if the space aircraft was not activated. If the space aircraft was activated, the aircraft would communicate with the outside and the inside, and this place would no longer be an absolute independent space. Without the mind stigma, even if the sword was standing beside it, there was no need to worry. However, with the mind stigma, it was hard to say. After all, Ji and Yi was an even stronger heavenly domain level expert than Fantian so he needed to be careful. Tang Huan slightly nodded his head, a trace of oozy flashed past his eyes, and his gaze softened as he said with a smile, it's been a while since we left Glory Continent, it's time for us to return. Dot. Chapter 644, Tang Family Incident Ten days passed in the blink of an eye, whoosh. In the evening, a wisp of cyan-colored flowing light came from the sea, and appeared above the Furious Waves city at lightning speed. This was Tang Huan's space aircraft. Inside the Cyan space, Tang Huan was looking down at the familiar town with flickering lights, and sighed in his heart. They seemed to have traveled across the entire Tranquil Continent and Origin Continent, and finally returned to the Furious Waves city. After passing through the Sword Crafting Valley area, Tang Huan even went to the Forging God Cave, gathered all the materials there 
and brought them back together with him. Now, this cyan space was completely filled. Yeah, yeah. Zhao Budian suddenly pointed outside at the little white rabbit, then let out a few crisp sounds, looking extremely happy. Goo goo. Zhao I blinked his bright red eyes in confusion. Now, this little fellow had completely recovered and was no longer dispirited like before. Home. Feng Ming squinted as a charming smile rose on her beautiful face. Why is the light on? Tang Huan regained his senses and looked over. The space aircraft had arrived above the northern part of the city. The smithy was already right in front of his eyes, but in the next moment, Tang Huan was stunned. The smithy was actually lit up. Could it be that the old fatty and senior Shan Lan were staying there to look after the shop? Had asked Xing Meng before, and was informed that they had escorted Wu Zhu and the others back to Heavenly Forging City. Now it seemed like they had also come to Furious Waves City from Heavenly Forging City. This way, they would be able to treat the old fatty's injuries tomorrow. In the midst of the mind instructs, in a second, the space aircraft quickly descended in front of the blacksmith's shop, carried the old man and followed closely behind. When his figure appeared outside the shop, Zhao Budian saw that the door of the blacksmith shop was already locked, and immediately flapped his wings, carrying Zhao inside. Tang Huan laughed involuntarily, he had only carried his master for a few steps before he was startled. Whether it was the movement that came from inside after Zhao Budian and the others entered, or the aura that was quickly approaching the door, it all showed that the people who lived in the smithy were not the old fatty and Shan Lan. Creek. In the next moment, the door was pulled open and a figure appeared at the door. She wore a red dress that was like fire. Her figure was graceful and her face was incomparably coquettish. The red-dressed lady who suddenly appeared was Mu Yan. Tang Huan. The moment she saw Tang Huan, the pleasant surprise and excitement in Mu Yan's beautiful eyes uncontrollably shone. She let out a delicate cry and rushed out. In the blink of an eye, her gentle and graceful body had already traveled across several meters of space as she hugged Tang Huan as if he was her baby. Mu Yan, it's you. After the short incident, Tang Huan revealed a smile, but following that, the smile on his face became somewhat awkward. With Mu Yan hugging him, he was at a loss as to what to do, so he used a hand to grab onto her waist, and pushed her away instead. Humphrey. A cough sounded from beside him, but Feng Ming walked over with the space aircraft in his arms. Mu Yan regained his senses and realized that not only was Feng Ming at his side, there was an old man on Tang Huan's back. He laughed somewhat embarrassedly, then let go of Tang Huan and looked at the old man on Tang Huan's back. He is my master. Tang Huan's expression recovered its naturalness and said with a smile, You found master? In addition to being pleasantly surprised, Mu Yan was also very happy for him. She knew that master Tang Huan had long since disappeared, and now they had finally found each other. Tang Huan slightly nodded, and said with some surprise, Mu Yan, aren't you in the Holy Spirit continent? When did you come to Furious Waves City? When the war between the three clans broke out. I left the Holy Spirit Continent. Mu Yan smiled sweetly, I can't go back to Tranquil Continent, and I don't want to either. I don't have anywhere to stay in this glory continent, so I came to find you. It's very easy to find this place. Come to the Furious Waves City and ask around. Tang Huan, I came uninvited, you wouldn't kick me out, right? Saying that, Mu Yan had a pitiful look on his face. Even though she knew that Mu Yan was faking it, she still couldn't help but feel a sense of pity. Tang Huan couldn't help but laugh, how is this possible? Then I won't be polite. Mu Yan said while beaming, this will be my home from now on. I say, you too, what do you have to say before you enter? Feng Ming could not help but speak with a slightly sour tone. Feng Ming, come, come, come and sit at my place. Mu Yan intentionally put on the attitude of a master and giggled as he frowned at Feng Ming. Humphrey. Feng Ming was so angry that his teeth itched. He snorted and ignored her, bringing the aircraft with him as he entered the blacksmith shop. Feng Ming, I will clean a guest room for you. No need. Dot. Seeing Feng Ming and his figure disappearing from the blacksmith shop, Tang Huan was startled for a moment. He rubbed his forehead with a headache. The messy night passed, and on the next day, when the sky had just begun to brighten, 
Tang Huan did not disturb Mu Yan and her, but instead quietly left the blacksmith's shop. Not long after, Tang Huan arrived in front of the old fatty's weapon shop. After sensing it briefly, Tang Huan shook his head in disappointment. At the weapon store, the doors were tightly shut. There was no sign of life inside the shop. It seemed that the old fatty and senior Shan Lan were still in Heavenly Forging City. Furious Waves City was not far from the Heavenly Forging City. Forget about space aircraft s, even if there were none, with Tang Huan's current strength, he would be able to reach there very quickly. Just as Tang Huan was preparing to return to the smithy, he couldn't help but frown. The west side of the city was suddenly lit up by flames. Voices were rising and falling at the same time. Even from far away, one could faintly hear them. That seems to be the Tang family. Could something have happened to the Tang family? Tang Huan's heart was filled with suspicions, and with that, he turned and sped towards the west of the city. In a short moment, Tang Huan's figure flashed like a ghost onto the roof of a tall building in the Tang family's residential area. Looking into the distance, they could see that in several areas of the Tang family, a large fire was raging. Tang Huan observed for a while and discovered that the fire spots were all places where the Tang family had stocked up their resources. Usually, these places were prepared to take precautions to prevent a fire but now they were all on fire. This was clearly someone deliberately setting them on fire. With regards to Tang family's current predicament, Tang Huan didn't have the slightest bit of sympathy, so he naturally wasn't interested in helping to extinguish the fire. On the contrary, Tang Huan was rather interested in the person who set the fire going. Tang Huan's gaze quickly swept across the continuous rise and fall of the houses and suddenly landed on the north side of the Tang family's martial arena. Chapter 645 What can you do? Tang Si, you can't escape. A loud shout suddenly exploded out, and in the alleyway that was not even two meters wide, a short and skinny young man suddenly stopped in his tracks. A few meters in front of him, a black shadow flashed and it was actually a black costume old man that was as thin as a bamboo pole. Behind him, several figures chased after him at lightning speed, causing him to be trapped in the passageway. Whoosh! Tang Si's feet fiercely stepped on the ground, and immediately jumped towards the rooftop, but when he held onto the roof with one hand, a blue light suddenly appeared above him, bringing about a torrent of light. The powerful strength Qi was like a torrential wave trying to force Tang Si's head down. Tang Long? Once Tang Si saw it, he let out a surprised cry. With a flip of his right hand, a dark black light quickly danced at the tip of his finger as he welcomed the attack. Ding, ding, ding. The clear and rapid sounds of impact echoed in the air. After a moment, Tang Si's figure involuntarily sank down. Following that, with a thump, his legs stepped heavily on the stone floor. Countless cracks of varying sizes immediately spread with his feet as a center of attention, while his face had become somewhat pale. At this time, the blue light on the roof vanished and a figure was revealed. It was a young man in his twenties. He wore white clothes, had a tall stature, had a pretty face, and held a blue long staff in his hand. The young man was Tang Long. Tang Si, you sure are gutsy. It's fine if our Tang family didn't go and find you, but you actually dared to sneak into our Tang family and start a fire, you act wantonly, don't you dare think of doing it again today. Tang Long's face was ashen, her tone was cold, like a gust of cold wind from hell. However, before he could finish his sentence, Tang Si had already started laughing weirdly. Tang Long, you idiot. Do you really think that grandfather is so bored that I came to the Tang family just to set a few fires? Tang Si, what do you mean? Whether it was Tang Long, black costume old man or the rest, all of them had a bad premonition. In the next moment, Tang Long came to his senses, and shouted angrily, You're tired of living, you dare come to my Tang family to kill people? Unfortunately, I only killed one. Tang Si shook his head in regret then laughed out loud, however, to be able to kill that beast with a human's face, even if grandfather were to die here, it would be worth it. After being discovered, he had already put his life on the line. Now that he was trapped here, he was going to risk it all. You killed second uncle? Tang Long immediately understood, 
and he became even more furious. Longer, your second uncle is already gone. Stop wasting words with this traitor and catch him. I will definitely make him beg for death. A few figures flew out from the passageway and the middle-aged man at the front was Tang family, Tang Tanren. Tang Si, you asked for this yourself. Tang Long clenched his teeth, his eyes dark and cold. He waved the staff in his hand, and a low, trembling sound came out from it. Just as he was about to jump down from the rooftop, a cold laugh suddenly entered everyone's ears, TSK TSK, as expected of Tang family's head. Who, who is it? Dot. The crowd was enraged, they turned to look and saw that not far from the black costume old man, at the corner of the alleyway, a tall and slim figure, a young man in his twenties, wearing a black robe, with a handsome face, and a faint smile, was walking over casually. Tang Huan? Tang Si gasped in disbelief, his eyes revealing a hint of unconcealable joy. He never thought that Tang Huan would actually appear here, at his most dangerous time. Counting the past, he had not seen Tang Huan for many years. Tang Huan, Tang Tanren, Tang Long and the rest were all dumbstruck. They were shocked. Tang Huan actually returned to the Furious Waves city, and to the Tang family at that. Tang Si, long time no see. Tang Huan's footsteps slightly moved, instantly passing through the several tens of meters of space and appearing in front of Tang Si. Yeah, in a flash, a few years have passed. Tang Si was shocked, but he quickly regained his senses and laughed emotionally. Back then when they left Feng Ming Mountain, he and Tang Huan were both at stage 5 martial master, and now that he was at the peak of the 7th step, Tang Huan should already be an expert at peak stage 9. Tang Si, let's go. Last time at Feng Ming Mountain, we didn't have a chance. This time, we must properly drink a few cups. Tang Huan smiled and grabbed Tang Si's arm. Wait. Right at this time, on the roof, Tang Long suddenly clenched his teeth, and said angrily, Tang Huan. You can leave, but Tang Si must stay. <laughs> Tang Huan raised his eyes and snorted. Tang Long immediately felt a wave of incomparable pressure, his soul was trembling, and the bottom of his heart was unable to resist at all. In the next moment, both of his legs went soft, and with a plop, he directly fell from the rooftop to the ground. Longer, Tang Tanrin turned pale with fright. In a few steps, he rushed over and helped Tang Long up. His handsome face was already pale white. I'm not used to raising my head and talking to people. It makes me feel much more comfortable. Tang Huan swept his gaze across Tang Tanren, and then looked at him from top to bottom, as he said with a smile that was not a smile. Peak of the eighth step? Not bad, not bad. Compared to when he was at Feng Ming Mountain back then, he had improved a lot. However, I am taking Tang Si away now, what can you do? Tang Huan, you. Tang Long's eyes were mixed with shame and fear. But before he could finish, he was cut off. Tang Tanren stared at Tang Huan, looking fierce and weak at the same time. Tang Huan, don't go too far. This Tang Si killed my second brother, if I let him go just like that, how can my Tang family establish itself in Furious Waves City? Tang Tanren managed to maintain a calm expression on his face, but the fear in his heart was not something that could be described with words. Although the Glory Continent was a distance away from the Two Realms plane, he still paid a lot of attention to what was happening there. After hearing that the three clans had fought in the Great War, Tang Huan had continuously killed Rocky Devil Spirit, Savage Heavenly Corpse. Special Devil Ape and many other experts of the Demon Clan. He had even fought against the Demon Lord Fen Tian without being defeated, showing just how strong Tang Huan was. Right now, Tang Huan was probably the strongest warrior in Human Clan. In the future, Tang Huan would definitely surpass Fen Tian and become the strongest warrior among the three families. Towards Tang Huan's strength, most Tang family would only feel shock. But Tang Tanren was extremely shocked. As the head, he knew many more things. For example, asking a killer of secluded Night Divine Palace to kill Tang Huan, and for example, the person in Sword Crafting Valley who wanted to self destruct the, was the ancestor of the Tang family, Tang Ma Kang. Once Tang Huan finds out about this, Tang family would be in danger of annihilation. Chapter 646 
debt repayment, kill them for their lives and pay their debts? Tang Huan laughed, Tang Tanren, is your Tang family worthy of saying these words? Whatever, since you mentioned those words, then I'll settle this score with your Tang family today. A few months ago, when I finished forging the divine armament at the sword crafting valley, I was suddenly attacked by someone explosion when I exited the cave. According to what I know, that person is that old fellow Tang Ma Kang. As he said till here, Tang Huan's eyes became completely ice cold. When the mouth of the forging god cave was just attacked, Tang Huan did not think too much about it, but after hearing the words of the secluded Night Divine Palace's Hall Master embodiment, he had already confirmed his identity. Even though the aura Tang Ma Kang emitted when he self-destructed was incomparably dark and cold, it was only the effect brought by the Dan incineration gloomy and exhausted bead. Within that gloomy and cold aura, there was also another aura that had already become extremely weak. That aura gave Tang Huan a rather familiar feeling. Later on, when Tang Huan recalled, the aura did indeed quite coincide with Tang Ma Kang's. His voice slightly paused and Tang Huan couldn't help but sneer, attacking me at Sword Crafting Valley, if I'm not mistaken, the assassination attempts I received at Crescent City, Furious Waves City and Heavenly Forging City, should also be the work of your Tang family. Tang Huan had personally experienced the assassinations of the Crescent City S, but he only heard about the assassinations of the Furious Waves City S later. At that time, Tang Huan had quietly left the Furious Waves City. But Tang Zhuang was still leading his men and guarding the smithy, creating the illusion that he was still staying there. The assassins in the secluded Night Divine Palace didn't know this, and the assassination naturally ended in a futile attempt. Tang Huan had made a lot of guesses about the people who invited these assassins. The Shalong Empire was the commander, Hong Liang, Shi Zongda and the others from the Great Tang Empire, or the Tang family. However, Tang Huan felt that there was a 90% chance that there was the when he was killing the secluded Night Divine Palace's Hallmaster. According to Tang Huan's understanding, Tang Ma Kang was definitely not an unyielding and resolute person who had only just stepped into the stage 9. Even if he wanted to kill him, he would not give up his little life and use self-detonation to achieve his goal. It was very possible that the secluded Night Divine Palace's Hallmaster had a weakness and thus, was threatened. Tang Huan, you were assassinated by the secluded Night Divine Palace, and it was actually the Tang family who did it. Hearing Tang Huan's words, Tang Si could not help but exclaim, the news of Tang Huan being assassinated in the Crescent City, especially in Heavenly Forging City, had spread. Countless martial warriors were furious, he had heard of it before but he never expected that it was related to the Tang family. This Tang family was too bold. Tang Huan had fused with the Nirvana Sacred Fire and also acquired 108 sword seal from the Mazi Sword Valley. Many martial warriors had already viewed this place as the hope for the human clan to rise again, and Tang family had invited the secluded Night Divine Palace to assassinate Tang Huan. If word of this got out, the entire human clan would despise the Tang family. Bullsh T, Bullsh T, Tang Tanrin shouted in anger, but his face was pale white, his voice was trembling slightly. He had always hoped that Tang Huan did not know about these things, but never expected that Tang Huan actually knew about them. What was there to be afraid of? Tang Long was also incomparably terrified. He clearly understood just how grave this matter was, and Tang Long were not the only ones that were shocked, the surrounding Tang family s were also extremely shocked. If what Tang Huan said was true, then not to mention the Furious Waves city, even if they couldn't stay any longer, there would be no place for them in the entire human clan. Tang Huan, don't think that just because you're a stage 9 ranker you can spout nonsense. The black costume old man regained his senses, and stared at Tang Huan in shock and anger. Even if our Tang family is a family with a famous name, how would we collude with the secluded Night Divine Palace? The truth is the truth. How can you deny it just because you want to? Tang Huan laughed, and his gaze landed on Tang Long once more. Tang Long, if I remember correctly. Back then at Fengming Mountain, you tried to kill me time and time again, and if it wasn't for my good luck and strength, I'm afraid I would have already been killed by you. 
Tang Huan was originally too lazy to bother about Tang Long's grudge, but since he took the initiative to jump out, Tang Huan did not mind waking him up. Tang Huan, you, you. Tang Long subconsciously took a few steps back. His face contorted and his expression filled with fear, but his heart was filled with extreme regret. If it wasn't for him being agitated and stopping them, Tang Huan might have long ago left the Tang family with Tang Si and wouldn't have noticed him at all. But now, Tang Huan was obviously not going to let him go so easily. With Tang Huan's current strength, even if he were to kill him, Tang family would not be able to do anything. Now, he already knew that Tang Huan was not related to the Tang family by blood, so his actions naturally did not have any scruples at all. Tang Huan did not pay attention to him anymore and started laughing mockingly. Tang Tanren, how do you think you should repay the debts that your Tang family owes me? Tang Huan, don't be too overbearing. My son was disrespectful to you back then at Feng Ming Mountain and it was indeed his fault. Our Tang family can compensate him, but the person who self-destructed and ambushed the sword crafting valley was not the ancestor of my Tang family. The ancestor of my Tang family had long gone out to sea to gain experience. Secluded Knight Divine Palace assassinating you multiple times has nothing to do with our Tang family. You better not find the wrong person. As he spoke, Tang Tanren stared at Tang Huan feeling powerless in his heart. At that time, Tang Huan was only an ordinary person who could not even cultivate genuine qi, but his Tang family was actually one of the three great families of the Furious Waves city, and his power was rising day by day. Never did he ever think that there would come a day when his own Tang family would be so humble in front of Tang Huan. Tang Tanren, do you think that I am discussing with you? Tang Huan squinted his eyes and smiled indifferently. Since you were worried that Tang family would not be able to stand up in Furious Waves City, then that's good. If Tang family no longer exists in the future, you don't have to worry about whether you can stand up for yourself anymore. Tang Tanren, dispersing the clan, you, Tang Long, Tang Tang and that cheap woman will cripple their own dungeon. The debt that your Tang family owes me will be settled. However, if anyone uses the name of the Furious Waves city again in the future, don't blame me for being ruthless. What? Tang Tanren, Tang Long and the rest were all pale. The black costume old man stared wide-eyed, his face flushed red and he angrily roared, Tang Huan, without any proof, you are slandering us Tang family, you dare to frame us, do you really think us Tang family are easy to bully? If you have the ability. You should kill all of our Tang family s. In the future, when His Majesty the Emperor returns from Tranquil Continent, he will definitely uphold justice for our Tang family. Ancestor Emperor, hearing this, Tang Huan couldn't help but laugh, are you trying to use royalty of Great Tang Imperial and Tang Moyang to suppress me? If that's the case, then I will uproot your Tang family right now. I want to see how Tang Moyang will find me to uphold justice for your Tang family. Chapter 647, I Am Your Mother, Ho. Oh. In an instant, it had enveloped a region of over a hundred meters around him. Not only was the exceptionally terrifying aura surging crazily within the boundaries of the heavenly domain, it was also surging further and further away like a wave. After that, Tang Tanren, Tang Long and the rest all had dashen faces as they almost suffocated to death. That terrifying pressure came from all directions causing them to feel like a small boat in the middle of a vast ocean. A small grain of sand uncontrollably appeared, causing them to have an intense urge to bow down and worship it. This, this. Amongst the numerous Tang family s, Tang Long was the strongest, and was still able to maintain his clarity of mind at this moment. His extreme shock made his eyes seem as if they were about to pop out of their sockets. However, even if it was the aura of the peak stage 9 ranker, Compared to the current Tang Huan, it was like the difference between a child and an adult. Tang Huan's strength had definitely far surpassed the peak stage 9. No wonder he did not put the founder of the Tang dynasty in his eyes. In this instant, Tang Long had already completely awakened. Even if all the Tang family s had been annihilated by Tang Huan, Tang Moyang still did not dare to even fart. Wait, Tang Huan, wait a moment. Tang Long's entire body tensed up and used all of his strength to scream out. Oh, 
What else do you have to say? Tang Huan glanced at Tang Long. We are willing to cripple our own Danchen and dissolve our own clan. Tang Huan seemed to be on the verge of death. He screamed with all his might, his face twisted fiercely. That's right, a wise man knows his place. Tang Huan scoffed, and the five colors heavenly domain disappeared into nothingness. Tang Long felt his entire body becoming lighter, his legs became weak and he collapsed to the ground, gasping for air. Tang Tanrin and the rest were even worse off. They laid on the ground like thirsty fish, with their mouths wide open. Beside Tang Huan, Tang Si's face was also filled with shock. However, with Tang Huan's protection, he was not affected at all just now. But looking at the situation of Tang Tanren and the rest, he could guess how terrifying the pressure on them was. You can begin, Tang Huan said slowly. Just now, he had casually activated his heavenly domain, and did not deliberately target Tang Tanren, Tang Long and the rest, if not they would have already been dead bodies. Tang Long let out a pitiful smile as he suddenly raised his hand, and slapped towards his abdomen. Dot, dot. The news of Tang Tan Shai's death, Tang Tanrin's crippling of his own Danchen, and the disappearance of the Tang family quickly spread around, along with the news that Tang Huan had already returned. In an instant, the entire Furious Waves city was stirred by it. If it was in the past, Countless martial warriors would go to the blacksmith shop in the north of the city and ask Tang Huan to forge weapons for them. But now, no one dared to act rashly. After all, Tang Huan was no longer the Tang Huan of the past. The current Tang Huan had extraordinary strength and could be called the strongest warrior in the human clan. Not only that, Tang Huan was even able to forge a weapon refining Grand Master. Today, Although Tang Huan had never established his own enormous power, like the mountains and rivers a hundred years ago, his prestige in the human clan was not low in the slightest. Thus, on the streets, in the tea houses, and in the restaurants, countless people were discussing amongst themselves. As for the smithy in the north of Furious Waves City, it was still rather quiet. Tang Huan, you want to give this blade to me? In the evening, Tang Si who was about to leave looked at Tang Huan in disbelief, then looked at the blade that Tang Huan had passed to him. After coming to this blacksmith shop today, Tang Huan had once shown this blade to him. Back then, he had indeed loved it, but he had never thought of using it. One must know that it was not an ordinary graded weapon, but a divine armament's ghost killing. In the past hundred years, many stage 9 rankers had appeared in this world. But the ones who had divine armament were few and far between. He was only a peak of the seventh step great martial master, how could he possibly have a divine armament? Now, when he heard Tang Huan say that the divine armament's ghost killing would give it to him as a gift, he was immediately stunned. If you don't want it, I'll keep it, Tang Huan said while beaming. Yes, of course. Tang Si took the ghost killing saber and hugged it tightly the corner of his mouth almost reaching the back of his ears. It was only after a long while did his agitated heart calm down a little. The gaze he used to look at Tang Huan was filled with unconcealable gratitude, and he said heavily, Tang Huan, thank you very much. Between friends, don't say such words. Dot. In this ghost-killing saber, Tang Huan had already used the fragmentation god technique to wipe away the mind stigma from the spirit of divine weapon. Tang Si was currently a peak of the seventh step great martial master. With this divine armament, even if he met a peak of the eighth step martial lord, he would still have the strength to fight them. Of course, Tang Si was still weak now, he was unable to fully unleash the power of the ghost killing saber. Furthermore, with his current cultivation, Activating the divine armament would be rather difficult. However, as his cultivation level continued to increase, it would become easier and easier to activate the divine armament s in the future. After a long while, Tang Si left the blacksmith's shop excitedly. After watching his figure disappear into the distance, Tang Huan also walked back to his room with a smile. Even though he and Tang Si hadn't seen each other for a few years, in his heart, Tang Si was the same as Gu Ying and Kaiyu Jian, they had always been friends. If he were to forge even more divine armament in the future, Tang Huan would give them to Gu Ying and the others. When he pushed open the door, 
Tang Huan discovered that Mu Yan and Feng Ming were glaring at each other. Not far away, Zhao Budian who had eaten a large amount of gems was curled up on a wooden table, sleeping soundly, while the little white rabbit was squatting on the side, bored out of his mind. Its little claws were poking at the rainbow spirit mouse on Zhao Budian's stomach from time to time. Seeing the situation in the room, Tang Huan felt a headache. When Feng Ming was still a little girl, she and Mu Yan had frequently disliked each other. After this meeting, the two of them had become even more unpleasant to each other's eyes. Tang Huan could not be bothered with them and sat on the wooden bed with his legs crossed. However, before he could close his eyes, Mu Yan had already walked over with a sweet smile on her face. She hugged Tang Huan's left arm onto her full and straight chest and smiled coquettishly. Tang Huan, didn't you say you want to heal my fat grandfather? Why don't we go to Heavenly Forging City tomorrow and let Feng Ming watch over this place? Why didn't you leave the guard shop? Feng Ming's figure flashed and sat on the right side of Tang Huan, hugging his other arm. Because, I'm your mother. Mom's words, how can you not listen? Mu Yan deliberately dragged out his tone and mischievously laughed. It seems like I haven't heard you call me mother for several years. Come, call me a few more times to listen. Chapter 648, Mountain Stones Feng Ming's beautiful face immediately flushed red. At that time, she was still a child, but in order to act like one, Tang Huan had not seen through her. She had indeed called Mu Yan that for a period of time, but she did not expect that Mu Yan would take it out to tease her. After a while, Feng Ming seemed to have thought of something, and laughed, then suppressed his voice and tenderly called out, Mother, ugh, huh? Hearing the symbol that jumped out from Feng Ming's mouth, not only was Tang Huan a little dumbfounded, Mu Yan was also speechless. Whoosh, immediately, Feng Ming's figure moved, and he appeared by Mu Yan's side. You, what are you doing? Mu Yan was startled, and subconsciously let go of Tang Huan's arm, and in the blink of an eye, he looked at Feng Ming. Mother, I want to drink milk. A sly smile flashed across Feng Ming's beautiful eyes as she said that. Almost at the same time the words left her mouth, she hugged Mu Yan, pulled on his clothes, and quickly pressed her face against his exposed white breasts. Ah, go away. Mu Yan was dumbstruck for a moment, then suddenly woke up with a start. Her cheeks were burning red. She pushed Feng Ming away fiercely, covering her chest then leaped out of the room like a wisp of smoke. She was in a rather sorry state. Feng Ming laughed proudly, then bared his fangs and brandished his claws as he chased after her. Mother, wait for me. Dot. At the side, the little white rabbit looked at it suspiciously and started to tease the rainbow spirit mouse again. Tang Huan blinked before finally regaining his senses. He didn't know whether to laugh or cry, and following that, he felt even more troubled by it. Boy, your luck with women is quite good. At this moment, an elderly voice sounded, with a hint of a smile in his voice. Tang Huan subconsciously shook his head, just as he was about to reply, he was suddenly shocked. In the blink of an eye, his gaze fell upon the small wooden bed a few meters away. Old man, you're awake. Dot. Unknowingly, an entire night had passed. In the bedroom, Uzi sighed and looked at Tang Huan with eyes full of gratitude. The great battle with the demon clan several years ago was almost the fate of the entire human clan. If he was defeated in battle, the demon clan would be able to drive all the way in, causing the entire glory continent to sink into chaos. Although he had been hidden for many years, under the situation where there were almost no rankers in human clan who could contend against Fen Tian, he had no choice but to step forward. Before leaving the Furious Waves city, he had already made preparations to not return, and thus entrusted Tang Huan to Yi Changshan. Before this, Tang Huan had not been able to cultivate the genuine Qi for more than ten years. He already did not hold much hope that Tang Huan would be able to embark on the road of weapon refiner in the future. As a result, he also left a few things for Tang Huan in the smithy and sword crafting valley allowing him to remember where the gems were hidden in the furious Billows castle. After his battle with Fantian, although he had heavily injured him, he was also heavily injured and had been captured. He thought that he would never have any hope of returning to the Furious Waves city alive, 
Yet not long after he left the Furious Waves city, Tang Huan stepped onto the true cultivation path, and in the short span of a few years, he became a weapon refining grandmaster that was able to forge a divine armament. His cultivation also surpassed the stage 9, stepped into the realm of the heavenly domain, and saved him from the dark abyss. Tang Huan had done what he could, and Tang Huan had done what he couldn't. When Uzi left the Furious Waves city, although he entrusted the young man in the blacksmith's shop to the old fatty, he was afraid that he would never be able to imagine that the young man was already dead. Right now, the person sitting in front of him was an earthling who had occupied the young man's body and absorbed his memories. Of course, the old fatty could not be blamed for the unforeseen event that year. After all, it was impossible for the old fatty to keep an eye on the young Tang Huan's every move at all times, and that young lad also frequently clashed with the Tang family's. So even if he was beaten black and blue, his life would not be in danger. No one would have thought that Tang Hong and the others would accidentally beat him to death that time. However, if he didn't die, Tang Huan probably wouldn't be able to be reborn in this world. After a few years, Tang Huan, the former master swordsmith on Earth, had completely accepted this new identity. Suddenly, Tang Huan thought of a question that he had been perplexed about for a long time. He could not help but ask, Master, do you know who my father is? If it was the past, I wouldn't tell you. But now, even if you didn't ask, I would have told you. Uzi said with a smile, In the past, his sacred emperor majesty had a son, a son, a son, a mountain, a son, 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 a son. A son, 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 a son. As he spoke till here, Uzi's voice paused, and Tang Huan's brows furrowed slightly. He suddenly had a bad premonition, and after that, he heard Uzi say in a low voice, Your father is the mountain rock. What? My father is a mountain rock? No matter how strong Tang Huan's mental fortitude was, he could not help but be shocked. He was actually a descendant of the glorious sacred emperor. Immediately after, Tang Huan couldn't help but cry out, Shan Shan is Shan Shi's little sister, if you keep counting, then Shan Shan is actually my aunt. The moment the last two runes left his throat, Tang Huan's heart spasmed and he started to lose his soul. Even though his soul was not related to Shan Shan at all, this body and Shan Shan were blood-related. How could they be together in this situation? The heavens sure knew how to make fun of people. Brat, you and Shan Shan can't be. Uzi could not help but be taken aback. Last night, although Tang Huan had mentioned Shan Shan many times, he did not say much about it. However, looking at Tang Huan's expression now, one could tell that the relationship between him and Shan Shan was probably not simple ordinary friends. Old man, I do like her very much. If she doesn't object, I think I'll marry her. Tang Huan laughed bitterly. Old man, are you sure that the mountain rock is really my father? Uzi and Yi Chong Shan were both the trusted aides of Shan, so before Shan left this small world, he probably had once entrusted his descendants to the care of two people. One of them was a weapon refining grandmaster. The other one was a stage 9 martial saint. They would definitely not live in this small furious waves city and have connections with Tang Huan for no reason. Therefore, this also proved from the side that Tang Huan was related to the mountain rock by blood. Although he said that, Tang Huan still held a trace of hope in his heart, wanting to see if he could hear a negative answer from Uzi's mouth. He was somewhat unwilling for a woman he had long since identified as a couple to become an aunt related to by blood. There's no way this could be wrong. Uzi said, your mother came from the forging god great world, and when we first arrived, she was extremely weak. She was surrounded and attacked by a group of demon clan draconians, and just happened to be saved by our father. Later, the two of them became husband and wife, which is why they had you. However, even though you are the son of the mountain, if you really want to marry Shan Shan, that will definitely not be a problem. Saying this, Uzi suddenly squinted his eyes and smiled slyly. Chapter 649, Mikesen. Old man, are you kidding? Tang Huan was shocked. Could it be that this old man's soul had been confined for too long, 
and left behind some side effects. Kid, do I look like I'm joking? Uzi chuckled again, but immediately replied sternly, I won't scare you anymore, don't worry, after his sacred emperor majesty, all of them will be single branch disciples, and there won't be a single daughter. No daughter? Tang Huan was startled and immediately understood the hidden meaning behind Uzi's words. He immediately asked with joy, Old man, you mean to say, Shen Shan is not a mountain? Uh, my grandfather's biological daughter? Great, haha. -ha. But after a while, Tang Huan's laughter suddenly stopped, something doesn't seem right, I heard Shen Shan say before that her mother was my grandmother who tried to fuse with the Bodhisattva fire when she was pregnant, but in the end she failed and the firepower seeped into her body, resulting in the formation of a pure yang core pearl in her body after she was born. If she wasn't born from my grandmother, then how did she obtain the pure yang core pearl? Your grandmother had a sister-like maid by her side, called Shan Yao. She was also a stage 9 martial saint, and was extremely strong. Uzi sighed lightly and said, after your grandfather was killed, your grandmother insisted on fusing with the Bodhisattva fire and forging an even stronger divine armament. At that time, Shan Yao accompanied her. She risked her life to save your grandmother when her fusion with the spiritual fire failed, but your grandmother managed to survive in the end. At that time, Shan Yao was already pregnant, and the firepower was condensing in the fetus body slowly forming the pure yang pill bead. Shan Shan is actually senior Shan Yao's daughter. Tang Huan understood. Your grandmother and Shan Yao's internal organs have been burnt by the Bodhisattva fire, and their vitality has gradually dissipated. A few days after Shan Shan was born, he passed away and your grandmother died almost at the same time. However, before she left, your grandmother already took Shan Shan as her daughter. There are only a few people who know about this secret, and everyone believes that Shan Shan is your grandmother's biological son. As he spoke till here, Uzi sighed once again. Master, where is father Shan Shan? Tang Huan could not help but ask. Her father is called Shan Go, your grandfather was the guard. Twenty years ago, your grandfather was assassinated, and mountain country protected him with their lives. But in the end, they still died together with your grandfather. Uzi laughed bitterly. Tang Huan became silent. The excitement in his heart had completely disappeared. He did not expect that Shen Shen's life would be so tragic, and that her real parents died to save her parents. This made him feel a sense of guilt. After a long while, Tang Huan finally asked, Old man, do you know who killed my grandfather and senior Shan Go? It should be secluded night divine palace. Uzi said in a deep voice, Furthermore, it is very possible that it was the hall master of the secluded night divine palace who personally took action. A few years ago, I was constantly searching for the nest of that secluded night divine palace. It's secluded night divine palace again. In Tang Huan's eyes, Fury flashed past. Not long after his sacred emperor majesty left this small world, the secluded night divine palace entered the glory sacred temple in order to seize the divine weapon catalog. That time, the old fatty was heavily injured, and even now, he still had not recovered from it. More than half of the 36 pages of divine weapon catalog had also been snatched away. However, that time, the secluded night divine palace suffered heavy losses and was ambushed and killed outside the city. The map was stolen by many people. Uzi snorted. The assassination attempt more than 20 years ago was also for the divine weapon catalog. After your grandfather and Shan Go were killed, all of the four-page maps that were originally stored in the glory sacred temple had disappeared. Of the four pages, Two of them have disappeared due to your grandmother's failure. The remaining two pages are the heaven splitting axe and orange hammer that Shen Shan gave you. I have killed this palace master's embodiment before, he should not let this go, and might even come knocking on my door again. As long as he dares to come again, I am confident that I can find his lair. At that time, I will have to capture all of secluded night divine palace and destroy him completely. Killing intense surfaced in Tang Huan's eyes. Don't forget me when the time comes. Uzi nodded, and could not help but ask, Brat, you asked so many questions, and you don't want to ask your father about Shanxi's situation? Yes, 
old man, he, where is my father now? Tang Huan subconsciously asked. The youth, Tang Huan, had always thought that his father was Tang Tanren. He did not know that his father was a mountain rock, and did not even know that there was a mountain rock. Tang Huan had merged with the youth's memories, and also inherited his various emotions. This also caused him to not be called fatherly or fatherly towards the mountain rocks. He is no longer alive. Uzi sighed. Your parents originally lived in Phoenix City, and I live in there. By the time your mother became pregnant, she was aware of the danger she was about to face, and your father sent me a letter. I immediately went to help, but unfortunately, I was too late. By the time I rushed to Phoenix City, your father was already killed, and your mother had already disappeared without a trace. It wasn't until many days later that I found your mother in Furious Waves City. Later on. I asked your mother about it. Only then did I find out that your father used a secret method passed down by the His Sacred Emperor Majesty to kill both your mother and his strongest enemy. Forging God Great World and the rest are too much of a coincidence. Your mother was much stronger than your father. Perhaps it was because her cultivation method was very strange, but when she was pregnant, she was very weak, so her strength dropped greatly. Otherwise, your mother could kill them all by herself. I was entrusted by the His Sacred Emperor Majesty to take care of his descendants, but I actually died in succession in the mountains and forests. Saying that, Uzi's face became bitter. So that's how it is. Even though Tang Huan didn't have much feelings towards the mountain stone, hearing Uzi's words, he also felt sad in his heart. The mountain stone had actually died to protect his mother, Master. Don't be too sad. After a long while, Uzi's mood finally started to improve a little, little Tang. After you were born, many people thought that you were Tang Tanren's son. Your mother was worried that some of the people from the Forging God Great World were still alive, so to avoid drawing attention, she decided to just call you Tang Huan. Now that you do not need to worry like that anymore, have you thought of changing your name? Master, all these years, I have been called Tang Huan and have gotten used to this name. I will just call him Tang Huan. After pondering for a moment, Tang Huan shook his head. Sure, Uzi did not force it, but, that glory sacred temple, you have to go. There is something there that the His Sacred Emperor Majesty left behind that might be of some help to you. Dot. Chapter 650, Qi Deviation, Victory. The Human Clan and the Tian, Heaven clan allied forces had successfully taken over the abyss city's base victory human clan and tian heaven clan allied forces have successfully captured the demon clan's lair demon lord fen tian was killed by master tang huan demon lord fen tian was killed by master tang huan dot the news from the tranquil continent had finally spread back and with an incomparably crazed speed it spread to every corner of the glory continent Furious Waves City, who was once again stirred up by the news of Tang Huan's return and disappearance of the Tang family a few days ago, was shocked once again. Demon Lord Fen Tian had tyrannical strength and a ferocious aura that overflowed into the heavens. He had led his army of demon clan to attack the Origin continent multiple times and countless people had died because of him. There were even more people who wished to kill him quickly. Unfortunately, no one was able to succeed. A few years ago, during the Great Battle of Two Realms Plain, that mysterious rancor had only severely injured Fen Tian, and was unable to kill him. In front of the mysterious rancor, there were many Stage 9 rankers that wanted to kill Fen Tian, but whether it was in a battle or assassinations, all of them ended in failure. Fen Tian could be said to be the strongest warrior among the three families. But now, this infamous figure had died in Tang Huan's hands. A while ago, he had heard that Tang Huan and Fen Tian had a huge battle and did not lose. The current Tang Huan, how strong must he be? Within the Furious Waves city, countless of martial warriors were inexplicably shocked. When they regained their senses, everyone was incomparably excited. Tang Huan had killed Fen Tian and was already fully deserving of being the strongest of the three clans. This was something that not even the glorious sacred emperor of the past had been able to accomplish. A hundred years ago, 
Although the mountains and rivers unified the human clan and led the human clan to occupy a complete part of the origin continent, but at that time, the Tian clan Xing Meng and the previous demon clan's burning world were both experts who could rival the mountains and rivers. But now, the strongest warrior of the three families was born in the human clan, which meant that the time of the human clan's glory and glory was coming. Many of the martial warriors as thought of this, and within the furious waves city, cheers rose and fell. In a courtyard house in the west of the city, the withered and defeated Tang Tanren, when he heard the news, had completely gone mad. Tang Huan did not know about the movements of the furious waves city, but at this time, he had already arrived at the glory sacred temple. This time, only Tang Huan and Du Zi were present in the heavenly forging city. Mu Yan, Feng Ming, Zhao Budian, the three little fellows, Zhao Wei and Little Ghost all stayed in the furious waves city. Deep inside the sacred palace, Tang Huan sighed with emotion as he looked at the white jade-like hill in front of him. Shan Shan is cultivating inside. Hurry and go in. Shan Lan smiled and patted Tang Huan's shoulder. His eyes were filled with kindness as he looked at Tang Huan. She had only just found out about Tang Huan's background. Because Tang Huan had never been able to cultivate the genuine qi, before he woke up this time. He did not tell anyone about Tang Huan's father. The reason was so that Tang Huan could continue to live an ordinary life. In these past few years, even Yi Chong Shan had only vaguely guessed that Tang Huan's father might be a mountain, but he could not be sure. When Shan Lan suddenly found out about this, he was extremely excited as well. Shan Shi had disappeared for many years. So she had a premonition that Shan Shi had probably been killed. The news that Tu Zi revealed had indeed verified her guess. Although the boulder was gone, he still had a descendant, and his descendant was now the heavenly domain level expert. Tang Huan nodded his head. He took a deep breath and quickly walked into the inside the cave where white mist was roiling about. Let's go as well. Shan Lan smiled and turned to look at Tu Zi, Yi Chang Shan, Lu Chen and Grandma Zhang who were standing by his side. Dot. Inside the cave, stepped upwards, the thick fog was like a wave as it churned and churned, completely blocking their line of sight. However, for Tang Huan who was already a heavenly domain level expert, this was completely not an obstacle. After walking up the 36 steps, Tang Huan found himself in a rather spacious space. He could not sense anything outside the cave, but the moment he stepped into it, Tang Huan sensed a familiar yet powerful aura. After entering the space, the aura became even more intense. Other than him, there was only Shan Shan in this cave. The owner of that fluctuating aura was naturally none other than Shan Shan. However, after some investigation, Tang Huan frowned. The aura was powerful indeed, but it gave Tang Huan a sense of disorder. Under normal circumstances, the aura of a martial warriors would fluctuate in an extremely rhythmic manner, but Shan Shan's aura had messed up the rhythm, causing the surrounding fog to surge violently as well, and become extremely chaotic. This situation was extremely abnormal. Could something have gone wrong with Shan Shan's cultivation? In a flash, Tang Huan strode forward, his sleeve constantly sweeping outwards and the white mist in front of him immediately flipped to the two sides. His vision immediately became clear, and his horizons also quickly extended forward. After a while, Shan Shan's figure appeared in front of him. At this moment, she was sitting cross-legged on a praying mat that was crafted from white precious jade. Her black robe seemed to have been completely drenched by sweat, as it stuck tightly to her skin. But at that moment, Tang Huan was no longer in the mood to enjoy the beautiful scenery. Seemingly at the very instant he saw Shan Shan, his heart couldn't help but rise up into the air. Shan Shan's white and tender face was as red as fire. Not only was the skin on her face red, the skin on her hands that were exposed was also red like fire. One could imagine how Shan Shan's entire body was like, with beads of perspiration continuously seeping out of his pores. Looking at Shan Shan's current condition, she should be extremely hot, but the strange thing was, the aura emitted from her body was actually extremely cold. They were still several meters away from each other, but it was as if they were in an ice cave as a biting cold chilled them to the bone. Could it be that my cultivation went berserk? Tang Huan was shocked, 
With a move, he arrived in front of Shen Shen and squatted down. With the distance between the two of them shortened to such an extent, the chilling intent became more and more intense, but sweat still continued to seep out from Shen Shen's body. This strange scene caused Tang Huan's heart to tighten. With just a thought, Tang Huan's skin started to release a layer of golden light which started to flow like water. The moment the tyrannical sun spirit body was activated, the coldness that invaded his body completely dissipated. As long as he was not affected by the cold, Tang Huan could focus and check out Shen Shan's situation. In the next moment, Tang Huan extended his right hand out and slowly pressed it on Shen Shan's shoulder, which seemed to be as sharp as a knife. Tang Huan? But... Before Tang Huan could inject the genuine qi into Shen Shen's body, her eyes suddenly opened wide, and upon seeing Tang Huan's face, her misty eyes became even clearer, revealing a look of pleasant surprise, but which quickly recovered. Shen Shen, you! Tang Huan was overjoyed. Just as she was about to ask about Shen Shen's condition, she snorted softly and wrapped her jade-like arms around Tang Huan's neck. Chapter 651 heaven and earth. The white mist roiled about, gradually enveloping the two figures within. A beautiful melody that could captivate the hearts of anyone began to resound within the region. After a long time, everything returned to normal. Unknowingly, the fog began to dissipate and the surrounding space became more and more distinct. It was almost as if it was a laughing out loud for a radius of 10 meters, but was shaped like a hemisphere. In the center region of this hemisphere, Tang Huan and Shan Shan sat facing each other without uttering a word. Shan Shan's black robe that had been drenched in sweat had already started to dry up, yet, it was still a little messy. Her originally fiery red skin was much more normal now, but there was still a hint of scarlet left on it, which made her already beautiful face even more charming and alluring. However, at this moment, her eyes were drooping slightly, and she seemed to want to say something but her entire body was surrounded by a captivating charm. On the other side, Tang Huan was seated cross-legged, his expression complex. What happened after he entered the cave was truly something that Tang Huan did not expect. Initially, Tang Huan was still a little confused, he did not understand why Shan Shan would make such a move, but he immediately understood what happened. Back then in the Wofu world, Shan Shan condensed the extreme Yin spirit body while Tang Huan condensed the sun spirit body. When Shen Shen went berserk and the genuine qi in his body became chaotic, the appearance of the sun spirit body could be said to be a fatal attraction for the extreme yin spirit body. Shen Shen's consciousness sank into a muddled state, and everything he did after that, were the instinctive reactions of extreme yin spirit body. This kind of most primitive matter was completely compatible with way of nature. Sun spirit body and extreme yin spirit body merged together, yin and yang mixed, and water and milk merged together. During the process of the union of the two, the chaotic genuine qi in Shen Shen's body could also be said to have found a way to vent. It would rush into Tang Huan's body, and then return back into his own body. As the cycle continued, not only was Shen Shan's genuine qi being treated smoothly, it was also becoming more and more pure. After this matter, not only did Shen Shan resolve the qi deviation crisis, her cultivation had also soared and her master, the extreme yin spirit body, had leveled up greatly. As for Tang Huan, he also received a huge benefit. The two spirit bodies blending together and circulating energy was also a form of refinement for Tang Huan's genuine qi. Currently, Tang Huan's genuine qi had also increased, and his sun spirit body had become even stronger. This kind of thing would benefit both sides, so Tang Huan naturally would not resist. Furthermore, Tang Huan had always liked Shen Shen. It was just that all of this happened while Shen Shen was still in a daze, causing him to feel like he was taking advantage of someone. Shen Shen, when do you think we should get married? Tang Huan finally opened his mouth and broke the silence of this place. Mary, hearing Tang Huan's words, Shen Shen could not help but freeze for a moment, like a kitten whose tail had been stepped on, but just as she was sitting up, her eyebrows knitted slightly. With a groan, she sat back down. Her beautiful face flushed red as she stared at Tang Huan, 
Po, who said they were going to marry you. Seeing that, Tang Huan unconsciously revealed a slight smile. You're still laughing. Shan Shan glared at Tang Huan shamelessly, but her superficial anger only made her even more emotional. Tang Huan immediately stopped smiling, coughed twice, and said sternly, Shan Shan, don't you think that the two of us are a match made in heaven? As they spoke, Tang Huan's gaze towards Shan Shan became abnormally hot. They looked at each other, causing Shan Shan's heart to tremble. He turned his head and said forcefully, You, if you wish it to be so, I won't marry you. If you won't marry me, then I'll marry you. Tang Huan moved closer to Shan Shan, and said while grinning, Tang Huan, you, how shameless, I, I won't tell you anymore. Under Tang Huan's burning gaze, Shan Shan couldn't help but become a little flustered. Just as she finished speaking with her eyes averted, both of her arms pushed off the ground. However, before she could stand up, Tang Huan extended his arms and tightly held her slim waist. Tang Huan, you, let go. Shan Shan's cheeks were boiling as she struggled. Shan Shan, actually, I had liked you since long ago in the Furious Waves City. However, my cultivation was too low at that time so I didn't say it. When I saw you in the Sky Quadrant, I had already made up my mind that I would make you mine. Now that we are married, how can I let go? Shan Shan, I want you. Tang Huan's voice was gentle, but his tone revealed a sense of determination. Tang Huan, you have to give me some time. I once swore that I will not marry anyone if I don't find Big Brother. Shan Shan's delicate body softened and an indescribable happiness surfaced from the bottom of her heart. But right after, she raised her head to look at Tang Huan, and her bright eyes held a hint of pleading. Tang Huan, don't force me to break my oath, alright? As long as you find big brother, I'll marry you. Shan Shan, what if Shan Shi has already passed on? Tang Huan hesitated. He's dead. If he is alive, I want to see him, if he is dead. I want to see his corpse. Shan Shan's expression was a little blank, but she bit her lips and her tone became firm. He really passed away. He was buried in the Phoenix City. Tang Huan hesitated for a moment, before finally replying. How do you know? Shan Shan was shocked. Because he is my father. Master only told me about this a few days ago. Tang Hua took a light breath and laughed bitterly. What? My brother is. Your father. Shan Shan's delicate body stiffened and her eyes widened. Her originally bright red face instantly turned pale white. Shan Shan, don't be afraid. Even though Stone is my father. You and him aren't blood related. The reason why Tang Huan revealed this secret, was because he did not want Shan Shan to bear a grudge that she shouldn't have, and help them take revenge. This should have been his responsibility, and furthermore, Shan Shan had the authority to know the truth of the matter, and to know who her biological parents were. Shan Shan's face finally gained an additional tinge of color, but as he stared blankly at Tang Huan, his eyes stared blankly for a long while. Shan Shan, Tang Huan called out worriedly. She had always thought that she and Shan Shi were siblings. Now that she suddenly found out the truth, she would definitely find it hard to accept it. I'm fine. Shan Shan finally came back to his senses and forced out a smile. Actually, I already guessed that I might not be a descendant of the Sacred Emperor. As he spoke, Shan Shan looked to the right in the blink of an eye. Over here. There is another dimension. According to my observation, that dimension needs to have the bloodline of the Saint King in order for it to open, and I have tried many times to not be able to enter. It's just that I dared to believe it before, but now, I have finally confirmed it. Chapter 652 Divine Weapon Catalog Superclass Tang Huan, can you tell me who my biological parents are? His voice paused. Shan Shan turned back to look at Tang Huan with tears in his eyes. Seeing her like this, Tang Huan felt an intense love in his heart. The arm around her waist uncontrollably increased its strength by a few degrees, and it sighed lightly. Your father is called Shan Go, and your mother is called Shan Yao, so that's how it is. Shan Shan muttered, every year, when I go to pay respects to my parents. When your grandfather and grandmother were, Grandfather Lu and Grandma Zhang would bring me along to pay respects to Mountain Country and Shan Yao. So it turns out that they were my real parents. As he said till here, 
Shan Shan could no longer hold it in any longer and two streams of tears fell from the corners of his eyes. Tang Huan said in a deep voice, Shan Shan, Shan Go and Shan Yao are your parents, and Shan Shan and Ni Yan are also your parents. What about you? Shan Shan said in a daze. Me? Tang Huan began to laugh, and said slowly, Of course I'm Tang Huan. I was Tang Huan in the past. And now I am Tang Huan. I can only be Tang Huan in the future. You, you don't want to acknowledge your ancestors. Shan Shan was shocked, and looked at Tang Huan with misty eyes. Hearing this, Tang Huan raised his hand to wipe away the tears at the corner of his eyes. A tender smile flashed across his eyes, compared to this. I want to be your husband even more. If he was still the same young man from before. He would definitely want to recognize and return to his clan. But for the current Tang Huan, there was no meaning in recognizing and returning to his clan. Shan Shan, you wouldn't be refusing to marry me now right? Tang Huan smiled again. A bashful expression flashed between Shan Shan's brows. But following that, her eyes started to struggle, and she stuttered. Tang Huan. I, I, don't be in such a hurry to answer. Tang Huan did not force her, and laughed. Didn't you say that you need the bloodline of the Saint King to open that space? We will head over right now and see what exactly is inside. With that said, Tang Huan's left arm went through the bend of Shan Shan's leg and he leaped up into the air while hugging her. Shan Shan couldn't help but exclaim out tenderly, and twisted her delicate body in Tang Huan's embrace. Tang Huan, let me down. I, I can walk by myself. I'm not letting go, Tang Huan said while beaming. If you don't let me down, don't even think about me agreeing to marry you. Shan Shan said in embarrassment. You mean, if I put you down, you agreed? Tang Huan said with a face full of smiles. I didn't say that. Dot. When he arrived in front of the wall on the right, Tang Huan still put Shan Shan down. Yet he was still holding on to her small hand. And after such a small interlude, Shan Shan's originally depressed mood had clearly improved by a lot. On the wall, there were many shallow indentations the size of a finger, crisscrossing one another. The width and height were both almost two meters, and at the center of the grooves, there was a clear handprint. Almost all of the grooves could possibly be connected to the handprint. Tang Huan only tried to react slightly. But his left palm had already pressed down on the palm. In the next moment, under Tang Huan's control, the golden blood already came out from his palm, and like a small stream of water, it flowed through the grooves. In just a few breaths of time, all the grooves had been stained with golden blood. Tang Huan then raised his hand. Buzz. Right at this moment, a deep trembling sound rose up, and a dazzling white light bloomed out of the groove making it difficult to look at. Tang Huan and Shan Shan squinted their eyes, only to see that the part of the wall enveloped by the white light was like ice and snow under the blazing sun, continuously melting at a speed visible to the naked eye. A moment later, the white light disappeared and an arch appeared. Behind the arch was a small, semi-spherical space. However, it was only half the size of the space outside. This place really requires the blood of the Saint King to open. Shan Shan let out a faint sigh, as a trace of sadness and bitterness appeared on his face. Let's go in together. Tang Huan hugged Shan Shan's waist, and they went through the arch together. Besides the small jade table in the central area, there was almost nothing else in this small space. On the table was a small jade box. The two of them looked at each other before walking over and opening the lid of the box. What was placed on top was actually a piece of golden paper. Inside the paper were countless fiery red lines crisscrossing and densely packed, and with a closer look, one could vaguely make out six characters from them. Divine Weapon Catalog Superclass Tang Huan was a little surprised. There's actually a superclass for Divine Weapon Catalog. When he was in the Furious Waves City, the old man once said that the Saint King left behind some things for him that might be of help. From the looks of it, this old man was probably talking about this Divine Weapon Catalog superclass. This old man knew that the Sacred Emperor left something behind, but he probably didn't know that it was the superclass. Otherwise, this old man would have said anything after knowing Tang Huan's current tools method attainments and cultivation level. This is something that Grandpa Lu, Grandma Zhang, 
and even Aunt Zhang do not know. Shan Shan's eyes also showed some surprise, but he immediately laughed. You are currently weapon refining grandmaster, so it just happens to suit you. With it, your attainments in artifact forging might even rise to the next level. Above the stage 9 is the heavenly domain, but I don't know what is above the grandmaster. Hearing her words, Tang Huan was moved and subconsciously took out the golden page with the words Divine Weapon Catalog Superclass written on it. Underneath the page, a thin golden book appeared, Divine Armament's Offensive Skill. After clearly seeing the runes on the cover of the book, Tang Huan and Shan Shan could not help but look at each other. In that moment, Tang Huan took out the book and flipped through it. Inside were gold pages, the pages were actually the same as the Divine Weapon Catalog glittering and translucent. The only difference was that what was drawn on the paper was not a weapon, but a variety of battle skill names. In addition, although the cover of the book was also gold in color, it was clearly an ordinary piece of paper. It should have been added by mountain and river later on. 10,000 Li I Sedge Sword Art Sword Dart of the Junlin Clan dot. Unparalleled Halberd Art Dazzling Spring Art dot. Every single sword strike of the Divine Armament actually had a matching battle skill. After quickly flipping through it, Tang Huan couldn't help but exclaim, Shan Shan, that dazzling spring of 10,000 flowers arrows should be compatible with your Divine Armament peacock bloom, right? That's right, I'm cultivating the dazzling spring of 10,000 flowers archery. Shan Shan nodded her head, also feeling astonished. When Tang Huan was flipping through the pages, she counted and discovered that there were a total of 36 pages of Divine Armament's War Skill, which just happened to match the number of Divine Armament S. Chapter 653, A Letter. There were 36 Divine Armament S and 36 different battle skills. The Divine Weapon Catalog and the Divine Armament's battle skills came from the Forging God Great World but they did not know that they were created by others. The Divine Weapon Catalog might have been created by a single person, but the battle skills of the Divine Armament was not something that a single person could create. After all, among the 36 Divine Armament, there were various weapons such as swords, spears, swords, axes, hammers, spears and bows. After a long while, Tang Huan and Shan Shan finally regained their senses and their eyes landed on the box once again. There was even a yellowed page that was filled with words. After putting down the Divine Armament's war skill, Tang Huan picked up the piece of paper and read it with Shan Shan. This was actually a letter from Mountain River to his descendant. Tang Huan remained calm throughout, but the more Shan Shan saw, the uglier his expression became. From time to time, he would glance at Tang Huan with a hint of worry in his eyes. Tang Huan, you. Dot. Tang Huan raised his index finger and made a gesture of silence, then slowly folded the paper and kept it in the Sumeru magical ring. Immediately after, Tang Huan passed the divine armament swore skill to Shan Shan and laughed. Shan Shan, the 10,000 flowers dazzling bow technique you are training in. Was it taught to you by Senior Shan Lan? If you were to obtain the cultivation method from her, then it would be better for you to get more information from this place. Moreover, there are many different types of archery skills. If you can sense them once, then your battle skill will definitely increase by quite a bit. This Shan Shan slightly hesitated, but in the end, he still extended his hand and received it. Shan Shan. Let's go out right now. Master and the others must be getting anxious from waiting. Tang Huan kept the page on Divine Weapon Catalog S and suddenly smiled. This place is rather far from Senior Shan Lan's residence. Can you walk now? Tang Huan, why don't you go and die? It was unknown what Shan Shan was thinking about, but her pretty face was blushing red, and even her ears were burning hot. She embarrassedly spat and stomped on the ground then quickly walked out of the small space. Shan Shan, I can't die. If I die, wouldn't you be a widow? Hearing this, Shan Shan's legs staggered and she almost fell to the ground. After stabilizing her delicate body, she couldn't help but turn around and glare at him in anger and embarrassment. Tang Huan laughed, and in a flash, he appeared by Shan Shan's side. Amidst her anxious and delicate voice, 
Tang Huan picked her up once again and walked away in large strides. Dot, dot. Time flew, and in the blink of an eye, several days had passed. At dusk, in an exquisite hall in Glory Sacred Temple, Tang Huan who had already sat cross-legged on a prayer mat for the entire day finally opened his eyes. At this moment, an unconcealable astonishment could be seen in his eyes. In the past few days, Tang Huan spent most of his energy on clearing up Shen Shan and treating the old fatty's injuries. It was only this morning that he started to study the Page Divine Weapon Catalog Superclass. The way to obtain information about the Superclass was the same as the way to obtain Divine Weapon Catalog S. However, the information on this page was countless times larger than that of a single night's worth of Divine Weapon Catalog. When the fiery red chi transformed from the words Divine Weapon Catalog Superclass entered Tang Huan's forehead, countless information immediately exploded in the depths of Tang Huan's mind. After spending an entire day, Tang Huan finally managed to understand all the information little by little. It was only now that Tang Huan finally understood why Shan had kept the superclass in the inside the cave and not gave it to the old man or anyone else. The information in the superclass was simply too astonishing. If one's cultivation level wasn't high enough, knowing too much would only bring them advantages and disadvantages. Divine armament is divided into low, middle, high, heaven and saint levels. These 36 divine armament s are actually only the lowest level divine armament s, and those 36 page divine weapon catalog are also only the lowest level maps. The number of complete divine weapon catalog s is actually as many as 180 pages. I wonder who the divine weapon catalog came from? Even low ranked divine armament s are already so shockingly powerful. I wonder how strong are heaven ranked and saint ranked divine armament s. Tang Huan thought it wouldn't be long before the Ling Zhao arch appeared, and the test that Yun Zan had set in the Ling Zhao ancient road would definitely be passed. This way, Master, the old fatty, and the At Xing would all have the chance to head towards the forging god great world. Clank, clank, clank. The crisp sound of footsteps rang out pulling the thinking Tang Huan back to reality. Looking up, it was actually Shen Shan who was elegantly walking over. At this time, Shen Shan was still dressed in black. Her face was extremely beautiful, her delicate body floated in the air, and when she raised her hands and legs, she gave off a mature flirtatious air. Shan Shan, I was just about to go look for you, when you came over. Tang Huan stood up, welcomed the attack with a smile and naturally stopped Shan Shan's slender waist. Shan Shan's arms wrapped around Tang Huan's back, her cheeks flushed red, her beautiful eyes became lively, as though there was spring water flowing inside them. After a moment, she suddenly chanted, Tang Huan, you want me? Tang Huan was startled, Shan Shan's current performance seemed to be abnormal. Ever since he and Shan Shan had become husband and wife, during these few days, Although Shan Shan didn't really resist his coquettish actions, every time Tang Huan wanted to take a step further, he would always refuse. Naturally, Tang Huan wouldn't force it either. But now, Shan Shan had actually become active. But, before Tang Huan could think about it, Shan Shan had already stood on her tiptoes and covered his mouth with her fiery red lips. Tang Huan felt as if a flame was burning inside his body. In palace. Spring had quickly arrived. Night passed and day came. Unknowingly, dawn had arrived in the sky. Inside the grand hall, Shan Shan picked up the clothes scattered on the ground, covering her beautiful body. The inlaid gems on the surrounding walls constantly released a soft luster, illuminating her flushed face with an incomparably seductive charm. Tang Huan, I'm leaving now. Shan Shan suddenly said, I've already guessed it. Tang Huan sighed as he sat up straight and looked at Shan Shan. You're not advising me to stay? Shan Shan was a little surprised. After hesitating for a few days, you have already made up your mind. My advice is of no use. You can go out and walk around, and it will be good as well. When the Ling Zhao arch appears, I will wait for you there. Tang Huan laughed, forging God great world is too big, all alone, it's really too lonely. You aren't alone. Aren't you? Didn't the Furious Waves City have two women waiting for you at home? Shan Shan snorted. They are not my women, 
you are. Tang Huang laughed, I might not go to the foggy sea island. Shan Shan's brows slightly bent, and then she curled her lips. If you don't come, I'll have to wait ten more years for you. You. Dot. Chapter 654, Heaven's Halberd After Shan Shan left the heavenly forging city, she did not say where she wanted to go, and Tang Huan did not say everything she could think of. Her cultivation had always been one of the peak stage 9s. After the fusion of Sun Spirit Body and Extreme Yin Spirit Body, her cultivation had advanced another step and she was now able to activate the half-finished state of the fake heavenly domain. Her current strength was completely comparable to Fen Tian's strength before she had entered the heavenly domain realm. In the current small world, the number of people whose strength surpassed hers could be counted on one hand. Furthermore, when she left the heavenly forging city, she had the company of a pair of blood plume heavenly hawk. It could be said that the possibility of her encountering danger was extremely small. Under such a situation, Tang Huan naturally did not need to worry about her safety. A few days later, Tang Huan also left the heavenly forging city. Other than him, the old fatty and Shan Lan also left together with him. The old fatty's injuries were rather strange. His internal organs had all been corroded by a demonic energy. What Tang Huan was doing now, was slowly using the power of the Nirvana sacred fire to dissolve the evil energy. However, that power had been hidden within the old fatty's body for decades, and had already fused with his internal organs. When they were going to attack, they had to be extremely careful, otherwise, it would easily injure his internal organs. During this process, no matter if it was the control over the genuine qi or the control over the power of the spiritual fire, one needed to reach an extremely strong level. It was also fortunate that Tang Huan was already a heavenly domain level expert. If he was still a stage 9 martial saint, even if his nirvana sacred fire was strong enough, he wouldn't dare to act rashly. The old fatty had once said that Tang Huan had to possess a strength that exceeded the stage 9 in order to treat him. Of course, the old fatty's injuries were already deeply rooted, and even Tang Huan would not be able to completely remove the evil energy within a few days. Tang Huan reckoned that it would take at least a month, so naturally he had to invite the old fatty to stay in Furious Waves City for a period of time. Within the Furious Waves City, even after many days had passed, the heated discussions about Tang Huan and the Great Battle had still yet to come to an end. As more and more martial warriors returned from Morigen Continent, more and more detailed news began to spread throughout the entire Furious Waves city. The enthusiasm of the people in the city was also growing. There were even people who bravely ran towards the smithy in the north of the city from time to time. Tang Huan knew of their existence but he did not care about them. After entering the blacksmith shop, he did not come out again. Three days later, in the evening, Ho, an abnormally terrifying wave suddenly swept out in all directions like a wave, vast and mighty. In an instant, it had engulfed the entire Furious Waves city. In an instant, countless people in Furious Waves city felt their hearts palpitate. They were inexplicably shocked and the originally noisy city immediately became deathly silent. Soon after, from the north side of the city, a dazzling beam of fiery red light suddenly soared into the sky, instantly coalescing into a long halberd. A terrifying aura spread out, filling up the entire space. Divine Armament This kid can forge a divine armament so quickly. In a four-story pavilion on the north side of Furious Waves City, the old fatty rushed out of the window like a whirlwind. When he looked up, his chubby face was full of surprise. This is the ancient halberd. Shan Lan looked over, and was shocked, from the chi he can see. This heavenly halberd has already surpassed any divine armament that my brother forged. Only three days have passed, right? A hint of surprise flashed across Uzi's eyes, but very quickly, this surprise was replaced with excitement. Before this, he had always heard the old fatty talking to Shan Lan about how powerful Tang Huan's tools method attainments was. Even though he did not doubt it, he had never personally seen it. Amongst the 36 divine armament s, the difficulty of forging the halberd art was no less than that of the conqueror spear. According to Uzi's knowledge, when Tang Huan was forging the conqueror spear, 
he had used around 10 days, but now, Tang Huan had only used 3 days to forge the ancient halberd, which was even less than the time he spent to forge the flame dancing sword. From this, it could be seen that, compared to when he was in the forging god cave back then, Tang Huan's current tools method attainments had once again increased by an enormous amount. As expected, a green man wins over a blue. Uzi inexplicably thought of Tang Huan's words and deeply agreed with him. A few years ago, he had painstakingly forged the Divine Armament's rain sword, but today, Tang Huan had easily forged the ancient halberd. It could be seen that Tang Huan's tools method attainments had already far surpassed his master. Even the sacred emperor from a hundred years ago found it difficult to compare to Tang Huan. Come, let's go over now and take a look at his new halberd art. The old fatty excitedly turned around and ran out of the room. Dot. Uzi and Shan Lan laughed as they looked at each other, then followed along quickly. However, they were also rather looking forward to the newly born halberd art. Dot, dot. Divine armament? On the top floor of Divine Weapon Pavilion, a shout suddenly sounded, and in that instant, a figure appeared at the western window. Her figure was graceful and her face was flirtatious. It was King Yi. At this moment, her beautiful face couldn't help but reveal a surprised expression. She had just returned to Furious Waves City from Morigen Continent. And in the end, she hadn't even sat down to catch her breath when she witnessed the scene of the divine armament coming out from the furnace and taking form with her own eyes. When she was in Sword Crafting Valley, she had seen it before, but it was not as clear as it was now, nor as shocking as it was now. Tang Huan King Yi almost subconsciously said the name. The abnormal sign appeared from the north side of the city showing that the divine armament must have been created by Tang Huan. Adding the flame dancing sword, conqueror spear, ghost killing saber, and the newly created halberd, Tang Huan's number of divine armament s had already reached four. King Yi couldn't help but have a strong urge to immediately run over to take a look, but the moment she turned around, she suppressed this impulse. With Tang Huan's temperament, he definitely wouldn't stop just forging one divine armament. He would wait a few days, then forge a few more divine armament before heading over. Dot. 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 I really didn't expect that even in Furious Waves City, I would still be able to see the divine armament coming out. In front of the Star Ocean Weapon Shop, Haikon looked up at the fiery red halberd in the sky and sighed to himself thinking back to when he had activated the fire totem in the weapon shop, and obtained the true fire. In the blink of an eye, several years had passed and the little martial disciple back then had already become the peerless expert who could kill demon Lord Fentian today. Well, we have to tell the young lady about this news as soon as possible. Dot. Inside the Furious Waves City some of the higher cultivation people came back to their senses even faster and exclaimed in shock. Not long after, the shadow of the fiery red halberd disappeared from the northern part of the city. The terrifying aura that filled the sky dissipated at the same time, and the city that had been silent for a while started to boil. Chapter 655 Dragon Slaughtering Saber Combined with the various rumors about sword crafting valley, Many clever people immediately thought of divine armament. The news of Tang Huan forging three divine armament has had long ago spread throughout the world and the current Furious Waves city had never heard of him before. However, the people had only heard of him before, and had never seen the image of him forming his true form with his intent. The scene that had just revealed itself in the north of the city was so strange that the excitement in everyone's hearts could be imagined. So this is what it means to take form. Master Tang Huan. The one who was forging this divine armament must be Master Tang Huan. I never thought that he would silently forge a divine armament in this furious waves city. What I saw just now seemed like a halberd. Among the 36 divine armament s, there are halberds. Last time in the sword crafting valley. Master Tang Huan consecutively forged three divine armaments. I wonder how many of them he will continuously refine this time. Dot. Inside Furious Waves City, 
There were different opinions. Another three days passed. It was late at night. A wave of terrifying aura once again swept across heaven and earth. Many martial warriors were either awakened from their cultivation or slumber, and their hearts were trembling uncontrollably. At this time, in the northern part of Furious Waves City, a beam of green light shot into the sky like a pillar of smoke, quickly congealing into a long blade. Azure Dragon's Crescent Moon Blade On the top floor of the Divine Weapon Pavilion, King Yi stood coquettishly in front of the window. He forged a divine armament in three days. Gu family, in a courtyard, Gu Jingcheng involuntarily gasped out. TSK TSK, this speed, even the His Sacred Emperor Majesty back then would not be able to compare to it. Dot. When that halberd-type divine armament appeared last time, very few people knew how long Tang Huan took to forge it. However, the amount of time Tang Huan spent forging this divine armament was clearly known to everyone within the city. Instantly, exclamations of surprise sounded in every corner of the city. However, as time passed, everyone was shocked and calmed down. In the end, they were even somewhat numb to it. Divine armament was the strongest weapon in this small world and due to the fact that the materials were hard to find and the fact that very few weapon refining grandmaster were able to successfully forge them, they became more and more precious. However, once they appeared once every three days, no matter how shocked they were at the start, they would slowly get used to it. However, although everyone was not surprised, the Furious Waves city became increasingly rowdy. Almost every day, a large number of martial warriors who had heard of the news gathered from every single direction, wanting to form the shape of a divine armament. To all martial warriors, this opportunity to broaden their horizons was something they could only hope for. After all, there were only so many divine weapon catalog and there would be one less page to create a divine armament if they succeeded. When Tang Hua turned all the divine weapon catalog in his hands into divine armament, there would probably be no more divine armament appearing in the future. Unknowingly, over a month had already passed. The first glimmer of dawn appeared, and the smithy in the north of the city, which had been silent all night, became lively once more. Inside the wide courtyard, Zhao Budian was flapping her little wings and floating around happily. At this time, the number of fleshy wings on Zhao Budian's back had already increased to four pairs. Before Tang Huan returned from the heavenly forging city, it had woken up from its deep slumber, and the two sarcoma-like bulges on its back formed a new pair of wings. On the ground, Zhao Ai and the little ghost head chased after Zhao Budian's figure, jumping up from time to time and landing on its back, playing around happily. Feng Ming and Mu Yan, on the other hand, were cultivating in their rooms. Although the two of them disliked each other and often mocked and ridiculed each other after meeting, they had never relaxed when it came to cultivation. Especially Mu Yan, he felt a sense of urgency. She knew very well that once the Ling Zhao Arch appeared on the ancient battlefield in the Sea of Fog, Tang Huan would definitely enter the Ling Zhao Ancient Road. That Ling Zhao ancient road could only be entered by experts from the stage 9. If Tang Huan passed the examination and passed the Ling Zhao ancient road, if she was still a martial lord of the 8th step, she could only watch Ling Zhao ancient road anxiously. However, she also knew the principle of haste makes waste. Even though her heart was filled with anxiety, she wasn't impatient during the process of cultivation. Ho, oh, after a long while. Mu Yan opened his eyes and exhaled lightly. But at this moment, an incomparably tyrannical wave of aura suddenly surged out without any warning. It was like a stormy sea that churned and churned, causing her heart to tremble uncontrollably. In the past few days, she had felt this kind of aura many times. This is the first time. 13 Divine Armament S. Mu Yan's face revealed a hint of joy. She knew that Tang Huan had a total of 16 pages of the Divine Weapon Catalog S Remnant Scrolls, and after using 3 pages in the Sword Crafting Valley, there were still 13 pages remaining. This meant that after this Divine Armament was successfully forged, all of the Divine Weapon Catalog on Tang Huan's body had been used up. In a blink of an eye, Mu Yan had already stood up, and with a slight movement of his feet, he left the room. But just as she arrived outside Tang Huan's room, 
a red figure appeared out of nowhere. It was Feng Ming. The two of them simultaneously let out a light snort. In the next moment, they pushed open the door at the same time again and entered Tang Huan's bedroom. In the room, Tang Huan stood up and looked at the large blade in his hand with a big smile. The shape of the blade was quite unique. The handle was not considered thick, only about two feet long. However, the width of the blade was astonishing, and its length was close to three times that of the hilt. On the handle of the red hot blade, a golden line appeared, spiraling upwards. After leaving the hilt, the golden pattern rapidly expanded turning into a golden dragon that bared its fangs and brandished its claws. It crawled on the back of the saber, making it look extremely domineering. Tang Huan, what's the name of this blade? Mu Yan was extremely curious and asked subconsciously. Dragon slaughtering saber. Tang Huan spouted the three words, and a thick smile appeared on his face. Tang Huan was extremely familiar with this name blade in his previous life. Martial saint with a treasured blade that could slay dragons, commanding the world, no one dared to disobey. If the heavens do not appear, who will be able to contend against them? This sentence from the Wuxia novel, Lean on the Sky and Kill the Dragon, can be considered a household name. He never thought that there would actually be a divine armament among the divine weapon catalog named Dragon Slaughtering Saber. Of course. This had to be a coincidence. It was just that he did not know if the existence of Dragon Slaughtering Saber would mean that he had the heavenly sword to rely on. This thought flashed across Tang Huan's mind in a sinister manner. This name is indeed domineering. Feng Ming started laughing. Two eyes swept past the shining divine armament behind Tang Huan, and could not help but ask, Tang Huan, there are so many divine armament. How do you plan to deal with them? Of course it's a gift. Tang Huan laughed out loud, Feng Ming, now that you have the flame dancing sword, all of these divine armament s are not fated for you anymore. However, Mu Yin doesn't have any divine armament s yet. After saying that, Tang Huan looked up at Mu Yan, and waved his hand, Mu Yan, which divine armament have you taken a fancy to, take it directly. Chapter 656 Heavenly Luo Soul Refining Art After obtaining Fentian's soul method through explanation, Tang Huan had complete spirit adhesion techniques. During this period of time, among the thirteen divine armament s that he had forged, the artifact spirit no longer contained his own mind stigma. No matter who these divine armament s landed in, they were able to successfully merge with each other. Tang Huan, then I won't be polite. Mu Yin beamed with joy. Her beautiful eyes revealed a trace of excitement, and her gaze landed on a long bow. The bow was bent, and was extremely exquisite. The name of this bow is Dragon Tongue Apostrophe. Following Mu Yan's gaze, Tang Huan could not help but smile. There were a total of three divine armament s that he had first inherited from this old man. First, there was the Conqueror Spear. Second, there was the Xuani Yuan Sword. And second, there was the dragon tongue bow. I choose it. Mu Yan squinted his eyes and laughed. He lightly stepped forward a few steps and picked it up. Then he sat down with his legs crossed. Under her urging, the next moment, fresh blood oozed out from the tip of her finger and continuously seeped into the bow. Not long after, the bow was covered in blood. Time passed bit by bit, and the blood red color on the bow became even more intense. It even emitted out forming a blood red fog that completely enveloped the longbow. Seeing this scene, Feng Ming's eyes flashed with a tinge of envy. The thirteen divine armament s that Tang Huan had forged were definitely much more powerful than the flame dancing sword, conqueror spear and ghost killing saber that he had forged in the sword crafting valley back then. Of course, the difference was mainly in the spirit of divine weapon s. The first three spirit adhesion s all used the soul of the stage 9, and the thirteen divine armament s such as the dragon slaughtering saber all used the soul of the heavenly domain fierce beasts. Looking at her expression, Tang Huan unwittingly smiled. There is a type of heavenly luo soul refining art in the soul method true explanation. It can absorb and refine souls and increase the quality of spirit artifacts. Heavenly Luo Soul Refining Art Feng Ming's eyes lit up, and then she went close to Tang Huan's ear. Her eyes were bewitching, and she laughed with an orchid-like breath. Tang Huan, I came to find you tonight, T. 
teach me this technique again. As she said that, her red and tender tongue actually stuck out, sliding past Tang Huan's earlobes. Her expression was extremely enchanting. What are you waiting for tonight? I'll teach you later. Tang Huan's heart skipped a beat, and he immediately collected his thoughts, snappily giving her a punch. Feng Ming had never learned these things before. He had only stayed with Mu Yan for a little more than a month and he already broke his promise. If it was in the past, Tang Huan wouldn't have too much of a feeling towards this kind of enticement. But after the two times he had intertwined with Shen Shan in the heavenly forging city, his son's spirit body had actually started to have a drastic change in its taste. Humphrey Feng Ming curled his lips and the look in his eyes towards Tang Huan became somewhat bitter. This was a move that he had learned from Mu Yan. Tang Huan pretended not to see it, his gaze landed on Mu Yan's body once again. The blood mist was quickly flowing into his right palm, and before long, the blood mist and the dragon tongue bow that was covered by it disappeared, as the divine armament had already merged with his body. The strange feeling of being connected to the divine armament by blood and having the same thought filled her beautiful eyes with amazement. Then, like a child who had obtained a fresh toy, she turned the dragon tongue bow over and over, sizing it up. Tang Huan smiled. Just as he was about to speak, he seemed to have sensed something and laughed loudly. Miss Xing Yan, since you are already at my place, why not come and have a chat with me? While they were talking. Tang Huan had already put down the dragon slaughtering saber. He took a step out of the bedroom, and although his voice was not loud, it was clearly heard. Whoosh! After a while, a figure floated and landed in the courtyard. She was dressed in purple and had a black veil over her face and was Xing Yan from Star Ocean Commerce. Brother Tang Huan, how have you been? Xing Yan's eyes were bright and beautiful, her voice was clear and pleasant like the chirping of an oriole. Her words were filled with laughter, I came here to take a look, and was just planning to wait for you to finish forging divine armament, and pay a visit, but I didn't expect you to find out after a while. All of the divine weapon catalog on my body have been refined into divine armament, Tang Huan said with a smile. Oh, Xing Yan's beautiful eyes lit up, it looks like I've come at the right time, brother Tang Huan, those thirteen divine armament s. Would they be able to broaden my horizons, please? Tang Huan invited Xing Yan into his room with a smile on his face. Xing Yan first nodded her head towards Feng Ming, and when she saw Mu Yan, who had just stood up, she actually also nodded. Her face still revealed a hint of a smile, and immediately after, she impatiently went over to the table that was filled with divine armament. Mu Yan smiled back at Xing Yan but a trace of surprise flashed past his eyes. She was once the general director of the Flowing Flower Merchant Guild and could be considered to be in a hostile position with the Star Ocean Commerce. Back then, when the Star Ocean Commerce was forced to hold the Phoenix Spirit Marshal meeting, it was her masterpiece. She even participated in the Marshal competition match and obtained a portion of the Phoenix Flame Essence. What surprised her was that Tang Huan and Xing Yan's relationship seemed to be quite good. Brother Tang Huan, your tools method attainments, in our world, has never been seen before and will never be seen again. After a long while, Xing Yan reluctantly withdrew his gaze, and when he looked at Tang Huan again, he looked like he wanted to say something but was a little hesitant. You're too kind. Tang Huan laughed, then said, Miss Xing Yan, you and I are old friends, if there's anything you need my help with, feel free to say it. All right, Tang Huan, then I won't bother with formalities anymore. Xing Yan gave a carefree smile and retrieved a small wooden box from his sleeve. He quickly opened it and found a golden page quietly lying inside. On it was a purple sword sketched out. Divine Weapon Catalog. Tang Huan was stunned for a moment, then understood what Xing Yan meant, and laughed. Miss Xing Yan, if you trust me, then leave this page behind. In three or four days, you can come and fetch the sword. As for why Xing Yan took out a page of the Divine Weapon Catalog, Tang Huan was not surprised. Star Ocean Commerce was spread throughout the two continents of glory and origin and had a large amount of power. It was normal for a page of Divine Weapon Catalog to be collected. Brother Tang Huan, 
then I'll be counting on you. Xing Yan closed the wooden box without hesitation and handed it over to Tang Huan, the reward for forging the divine armament. To me, forging a divine armament is not a difficult task, so there's no need for the reward. Tang Huan waved his hand. Dot. Not long after, Xing Yan left the blacksmith shop. However, Xing Yan's appearance was merely the beginning. She had left for less than 15 minutes, and Tang Moyang, Shai Mai and Mo Huang had already joined forces and arrived. Chapter 657, Re-entering the Infernal Domain The return of the Stage 9 rankers of the human clan meant that the great battle between the three clans had completely ended. Xing Meng, Mu Qing and the rest, as well as the tens of thousands of Tian clan soldiers had already left the tranquil continent and returned to the Holy Spirit continent. In this battle, the Tian clan obtained the magic essence stone vein within the two realms plane, and the human clan occupied a vast amount of territory within the tranquil continent, so they were not attacked by the demon clan. As for the demon clan's veterans, they retreated to the west and north of the tranquil continent's numerous large and small islands with an extremely slim chance of returning to the continent. After a long while, some of the human allied forces as started to return to the glory continent. And at this moment, Tang Huan had already arrived at the Infernal Domain's desert. On this trip, only Feng Ming, Zhao Budian and Zhao Ai followed along, while Mu Yin brought along the little ghost to enter the Sky Spirit Secret Realm. She possessed the human clan's bloodline, and she wasn't even 30 years old yet so they could continue cultivating inside. I can't. I can't accept this. In a simple stone room in Star Stone Continent, Kang Mo looked at the three divine armament s in front of him and shook his hands in shock. Back then, when Tang Huan left the Star Stone Continent, he gave three pages of divine weapon catalog and many materials to Tang Huan. Senior Kang Mo, you don't have to be this polite with me. I forged quite a few divine armament s a while ago, Tang Huan said with a smile. Then, with a slight movement of this thought, the space aircraft in Feng Ming's hand trembled and released a large amount of cyan light. A moment later, one after another, divine armament appeared from within the light. The space of the Sumeru magical ring was limited, and most of the divine armament s could not fit inside. However, the interior of the aircraft was spacious enough. However, if he just took the items out from there, it wouldn't be as convenient as taking out the Sumeru magical ring. Following the continuous appearance of the divine armament, terrifying auras spread out one after another, and this stone house was illuminated by all kinds of dazzling lights as if it were a dream. Seeing this scene, King Mo stared blankly at the door, at the entrance. The elders who had rushed over due to being alarmed by the qi were also dumbstruck. Tang Huan smiled and kept the divine armament one by one. He knew very well that if he did not show off, Kang Mo would definitely not accept those three divine armaments. Kang Mo had been of great help to him, and if not for Kang Mo telling him the location of the secret passage, it would have been impossible for him to have entered the furious Billow's castle without anyone noticing. Senior Kang Mo Please accept this. Tang Huan smiled from between his brows. The three divine armament s he had given out were sword, hammer and axe respectively. Their sword names were blood embers, their hammers were orange hammer and their axes were ferocious chasing. Alright, alright, I'll take it. King Mo finally no longer refused, and bitterly smiled as he nodded his head, but deep down his heart, he was filled with emotion. He had never thought that one day he would also be able to own a divine armament. One must know that at that time, only Yi Chang Shan, Feng Wuai and the other generals possessed divine armament, which was bestowed upon them by the sacred emperor. Now, Tang Huan had sent three of them out in an instant. If this news were to spread, it would cause everyone to go crazy. After a while, Kang Mo calmed himself down, little brother. You just said that you have something to take care of this time in Origin Continent, if there's anything that you need from us old fellows, feel free to ask. Although we are not very strong, running errands is not a problem. Thank you, Senior King Mo. Tang Huan laughed, actually, 
I want to try and see if I can find that secluded night divine palace. This was the last thing on Tang Huan's mind before he left. To eradicate the secluded night divine palace, not only was it Shan Shan's wish, it was also his wish. Secluded night divine palace. Hearing Tang Huan's words, Kang Mo's expression suddenly changed slightly. Little brother, dozens of years ago, when Glory Sacred Temple was attacked by the secluded night divine palace, Lord General unintentionally mentioned that the secluded night divine palace might be within that foggy sea island. Foggy sea island? Tang Huan was startled at first, but then his face changed. Senior King Mo, is what you said for real? He never thought that he would be able to obtain such important information in the Starstone continent, he suddenly felt lucky that he had mentioned something to Kang Mo right when he arrived. Kang Mo nodded, General, I agree. Glory Sacred Temple being attacked by the secluded Night Divine Palace was a great matter that shook the world, so I have a deep impression of it. Although the General's judgment may not be completely accurate, it was at least 70 to 80 percent likely. At that time, Lord General had entered the Foggy Sea Island several times to explore the ancient battlefield remains, and was extremely familiar with the situation there. Great! Tang Huan clapped heavily excitement flickering in his eyes. All these years, whether it was the human clan, or the Tian clan, all of them had been searching for the base of the secluded night divine palace. He had searched for all possible places he could find. Now that he had found a place that was 70 to 80 percent likely to be the residence of a secluded night divine palace, he basically wouldn't run away anymore. By the side, Feng Ming couldn't help but laugh as well. Tang Huan. Why don't we leave right now and head to the foggy sea island? Yes, right away. Just as he was about to bid farewell to King Mo, he seemed to have thought of something and suddenly slapped his head, and laughed. I am not in a hurry either. Since we have reached the demon region desert, I naturally have to go back to that place. Little brother, where are you going? King Mo asked with some curiosity. Infernal domain. Tang Huan smiled slightly. Just now. He had been in such a hurry that he had forgotten about it. Aside from sending three divine armament s to Kang Mo, he also came to the Infernal Realm this time. Tang Huan had been salivating over the space aircraft in the Infernal Realm for a long time. The aircraft possessed a spirit artifact, and its quality definitely surpassed that of the current space aircraft. If he could get hold of it, he would come to forging God Great World and it would definitely be of great use. Infernal Domain? Hearing the two words that came out of Tang Huan's mouth, other than Feng Ming, no matter if it was Kang Mo or the elders at the entrance, they were all shocked. Others might not be able to escape from that place, but Tang Huan, on the other hand, after going there once, wanted to go there again. In an instant, persuasion and dissuasion could be heard. However, Kang Mo and the rest were still unable to sway Tang Huan. Not long after, the space aircraft turned into a wisp of green light and pierced through the air, moving faster than lightning. In an extremely short amount of time, it floated to the edge of the demon area, from within which, numerous figures flashed and appeared. Kang Mo, Feng Ming, Zhao Budian and the others all stopped at the Gobi Desert while Tang Huan walked into the boundaries of the demon area under numerous gazes. In that moment, the terrifying power of the sucking swept over. Tang Huan did not resist at all and immediately soared into the sky, disappearing into the depths of the demon area. Chapter 658, Spirit Essences In the blink of an eye, Tang Huan once again entered that familiar white space. With just a thought, Five colors heavenly domain whizzed out from his body. Compared to before, s heavenly domain could shrink even smaller, and furthermore, he did not maintain his circular shape from before, but maintained the same shape as his body. Looking at it, Tang Huan looked as if he was enveloped in a rainbow colored figure. This shape of the heavenly domain could allow Tang Huan to control it more easily and smoothly. With his strength, if heavenly domain were to be pushed to his limits, he could completely withstand the power of the space aircraft's sucking. However, in that case, it would be the complete opposite of Tang Huan's original intentions. If one felt that Tang Huan was too powerful, then the artifact spirit would very likely seal the aircraft. Now that he was inside the aircraft, 
There was naturally no need for Tang Huan to hide anymore. Following the appearance of the Five Colors Heavenly Domain, a majestic and vast aura pervaded the air and Tang Huan's perception ability instantly rose to an unprecedented level. Whoosh! Tang Huan's footsteps moved, and with an astonishing speed, he smashed into the right wall where the wall rippled slightly like a ripple. He appeared in a triangular-shaped space. Almost as soon as Tang Huan's body appeared, the wall behind him regained its calm. This was obviously caused by the space aircraft's artifact spirit, but Tang Huan was not worried at all. Smiling, he arrived in front of the round platform in the center of the stage raised his hand and pressed it down on the stage. The vigorous mind power immediately rushed in like a flood. The last time he was trapped here, Tang Huan had carefully studied and calculated the spirit map that Shen Shan provided. Currently, he was extremely familiar with the structure of this space aircraft. Once the mind power entered the round table, it scattered like silk and quickly spread along the spirit map. In just a few breaths of time, Tang Huan's mind power had followed the spirit map to every corner of the space aircraft. Immediately after, the entire situation of the space aircraft appeared abnormally clear in Tang Huan's mind, with not the slightest bit of information that was left out. To reach this step, one would need to possess a huge amount of mind power. Furthermore, the control over the mind power was extremely high as well. If Tang Huan was still in the stage 9 realm, he would never be able to do it. Now that Tang Huan was already a heavenly domain level expert, whether it was the mind power or his control of the mind power, both had increased by leaps and bounds. After a while, Tang Huan caught a glimpse of a ball of white mist. It was hiding on the wall behind Tang Huan, which had recovered its calmness. It was extremely intelligent, and the aura it emitted was also extremely powerful. However, that aura had already merged with the space aircraft and could not be sensed by ordinary means. It was obviously the artifact spirit of the space aircraft. Tang Huan could feel a panicked feeling from it. It could be seen that the terrifying power he had displayed made the artifact spirit feel a strong sense of danger. At this time, with just a thought, Tang Huan could gather mind power and attack the artifact spirit. Of course, Tang Huan did not do that. His goal this time was not to eliminate the artifact spirit, but to obtain the space aircraft. Once it succeeded, the stronger the artifact spirit would be, and would be of greater use to Tang Huan. Thus, as long as it did not act rashly, Tang Huan would not make a move against it. What Tang Huan needed to do now was to merge his mind stigma with them. At that time, Tang Huan would be the master of the space aircraft and would completely integrate with it, so there was no way he would disobey Tang Huan's orders. Amongst the spirit map, Tang Huan's mind power was quickly circulating, and in a short while, he had already found the most crucial point within the space aircraft. This kind of node was called Spirit Eye. By condensing the mind stigma in the Spirit Eye, he would be able to obtain the space aircraft. Tang Huan thought for a moment. Then, an even more majestic mind power surged out, like a torrent, it rushed towards the spirit essence. Swish. Just at this time, a sharp piercing sound came out, and from the wall behind Tang Huan, an extremely condensed white light shot out, like a sharp sword piercing towards Tang Huan's back, an extremely tyrannical chi rippled out, as though it was trying to shatter the space itself. Tang Huan did not even turn his head around. His right palm remained unmoving, while his left arm, like a soft noodle, strangely twisted to the back and struck out. In the next moment, Five Colors Heavenly Domain followed the movement of Tang Huan's left palm and released a frightening power that gathered into Tang Huan's palm like flowing water. Bam! In a split second, the white beam of light and Tang Huan's left palm, which was covered by the Five Colors Heavenly Domain collided head-on with the white beam of light. The strength chi surged crazily and ripples actually appeared in the air, visible to the naked eye. In a split second, the white light touched the wall behind it, then silently entered it. The corner of Tang Huan's mouth hooked into a cold smile. That artifact spirit obviously couldn't accept the fact that the aircraft was being controlled by Tang Huan. So it actually started to attack. After the artifact spirit escaped from the trap the last time, 
he absorbed a large amount of energy and his strength had increased by quite a bit. However, it was still incomparable to the current Tang Huan. The artifact spirit's decision to attack him was simply asking for trouble. Kai. Not long later, another sound of something tearing through the air could be heard from the right side. His bones released a burst of crackling sounds. Tang Huan's left arm seemed to have suddenly lengthened a lot as he suddenly swept it across his chest. His palm that was filled with genuine chi flew out like lightning, but once again activated the power of the five colors heavenly domain, exploding forth with a mind-blowing might. Bam! Another deafening collision sound rang out. The white light that had whizzed over from the right was immediately sent flying. It merged with the wall once more, and without a sound, it was like a glaox entering the sea. Following that, the artifact spirit seemed to have given up and did not make a move for a long time. However, a hint of ridicule flashed across Tang Huan's eyes. Humphrey. Abruptly, Tang Huan snorted softly, and his right foot suddenly lifted and stamped down. The powerful genuine chi and the gathered power of the heavenly domain burst forth from his feet, and with a boom. It surged forth. It was as if a terrifying hurricane had risen out of thin air within this triangle. Beneath Tang Huan's feet, a white-colored dodo that had just appeared was stepped on back as if it had been struck by a huge hammer. In an instant, a scream rose up from the ground beneath his feet. However, his voice became weaker and weaker. It seemed that the artifact spirit was quickly fleeing into the distance. And it was also at this time that a faint smile appeared on Tang Huan's face. Previously, the artifact spirit had attacked consecutively, but his right palm had not even moved an inch in order to maintain the stable mind power's output and condense the mind stigma in his eyes. Now, he had finally succeeded. Buzz. After the flick of a finger, an incomparably intense trembling noise resounded within the triangle-shaped space, and the surrounding walls released a resplendent white luster. Behind Tang Huan, the small piece of wall, which had already congealed into substance after he came in, actually began to ripple once again. Chapter 659, Submission Miss Feng Ming, is this really alright? Outside the demon area. Kang Mo was frowning as he worriedly worried about the Gobi Desert. He had heard Tang Hua talking about the situation last time. At that time, only after gathering the power of four stage nine warriors, Tang Huan, Shen Shen and the others could he open the passage and walk out of the space aircraft safely. But this time, it was only Tang Huan. Don't worry. Tang Huan will never do something that you aren't confident in. The current Tang Huan is already a heavenly domain level expert, so even if the space aircraft gave birth to an artifact spirit, it still wouldn't be a threat to Tang Huan. Come to think of it, even if Tang Huan didn't come out at the appointed time, we would still be able to enter as well. As long as there are four stage nine Marshal Saint S. We can completely open the passage once more like last time. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? King Mo was slightly startled, but immediately smiled, and his tightly knitted brows relaxed. Goo goo. At this time, Zhao Ai's legs suddenly stepped on the ground, and shot forward explosively. Yeah, Zhao Budian flapped four pairs of wings, and like a blue flowing shadow, followed closely behind Zhao Ai. Seeing that, Kang Mo was shocked. However, before he could finish speaking, Zhao Ai and Zhao Budian had already rushed into the boundaries of the demon area. What happened next caused him to be stunned, as one of the two little fellows was still running on the ground while the other was flying in the air, and had actually not been affected by the power of the demon region sucking. The infernal domain has disappeared, King Mo exclaimed. That's right. Immediately after, Two figures shot into the oasis like arrows that had just left the bowstring. Not long later, Kang Mo and Feng Ming arrived at the center area of the oasis one after another. The space aircraft clearly appeared in their view. Its two ends were thin like flying shuttles, crystal like jade, and were slightly trembling, releasing a brilliant white light. Zhao Budian and Zhao Ai walked around the aircraft with curiosity written all over their faces. Looking at the situation, Little brother Tang Huan has already controlled the space aircraft. King Mo sized up the object in surprise and couldn't help but smile. Almost at the same time he finished speaking, the space aircraft started to undulate like water. Following that, 
A white figure flashed from inside and floated down to the ground. It was actually a white skeleton. This was only the beginning. In the next few breaths of time, all the complete and scattered bones from the aircraft flashed and appeared one after another. Over the past hundred years, the number of people who have died in this infernal domain is truly not small. Seeing that, Kang Mo sighed. Feng Ming smiled slightly. Just as he was about to speak, a black figure flashed into his vision without any warning, and it was Tang Huan who left the space aircraft. Little brother, you succeeded. Although he had already made his judgment beforehand, Kang Mo could not help but to ask. We've succeeded. From today onwards, this infernal domain can be considered to have completely disappeared. Tang Huan unknowingly smiled, and when he looked at the space aircraft, a satisfied smile appeared in the depths of his eyes. As expected, after fusing the mind stigma into the spirit essence, the aircraft's artifact spirit had completely lost its ability to resist. Now, even if he did not continue inserting mind power s into the round table in the first room of the aircraft, with just a thought, Tang Huan would still be able to know the entire situation of the aircraft. The only thing that Tang Huan regretted was that, although he had the space aircraft, he was temporarily unable to control it to fly. The aircraft was different from Tang Huan's original aircraft. The space of the aircraft was extremely small, and one could activate it by themselves, but the interior space of the aircraft far exceeded its own. If one wanted to activate it, they would need to use a gem like the Saint Ranked Magic Source Stone to activate it. Once the gems placed on the four round tables inside the aircraft were used up, they would have to be placed back on the gems before they could continue flying. Tang Huan, this aircraft is so big, it's not easy to bring it with you. Feng Ming had a headache as he rubbed his forehead. Previously, the aircraft was only a little bigger than a bamboo hat, so he could carry it around. It's fine. He waved his hand and smiled. Then, with a thought from Tang Huan, the space aircraft began to shrink at a rapid pace, and in a few breaths, the 10 meters long and 5 meters wide space aircraft had already become as big as a walnut. So small. Feng Ming and King Mo were not the only ones who were stunned. Zhao Budian and Zhao Ai had their eyes opened wide in shock. This is the beauty of space aircraft s who possess an artifact spirit. Tang Huan chuckled. It was extremely convenient to carry a space aircraft that could shrink itself to this state. However, it's impossible to bring a space aircraft with you to the same place as the one from the past. Then what should I do? Feng Ming said blankly. Let's go to the Cloud City first and give that space aircraft to the Ant Crossing. Then, we can get some sane tranked demon essence stones from the Ant Crossing. Dot. This was the foggy sea island. The danger level of this island was not inferior to the turbid sea area in any way. And even if a stage 9 ranker was not careful, there was a possibility of death. In the early morning, the first rays of the morning sun could be seen as the sun shone down in a slanted manner, making the mist-covered island seem all the more hazy. Whoosh! In the northwest sky, a white light pierced through the sky and arrived above Foggy Sea Island in an instant. It was a white flying shuttle that was dozens of meters long. Inside the flying shuttle, in the middle of the triangular space at the front row, Tang Huan stood in front of the round stage with a solemn face, with his right palm pressing on the stage. The two walls on the left and right were completely transparent. Compared to the aircraft from before, inside the flying shuttle, one could see an even wider outer area. After bidding farewell to Kang Mo in the Infernal Domains Desert, Tang Huan and Feng Ming left for Holy Spirit Continent. After staying in there for only a day, the two of them went south once again. It turned out that Tang Huan had erased the mind stigma inside and gifted it to Xing Meng. After acquiring the vein, Xing Meng was rich and imposing, thus the amount of saint ranked demon essence stones he had dug up was not much. Otherwise, Xing Meng would have given him even more. Not only was the space of the new aircraft more spacious, after placing the four saint-ranked magic essence stones into four round tables, 
It was then activated by Tang Huan. Its speed was at least twice that of the previous aircraft. It only took him a day to sense the foggy sea island from the Spirit Cloud City. I can't see anything up there. It would be difficult to find the secluded Night Divine Palace's lair. Looking at the rolling fog below, Feng Ming frowned. Let's walk around above it for a bit and get familiar with its general terrain before anything else. Dot. Chapter 660 Heart Twining and Soul Searching Method The foggy sea island was extremely vast, with a circumference of almost a thousand miles. However, with flying shuttles, these kinds of sharp tools to travel through space, to circle around the foggy sea island, it wouldn't take long. Every part of the island was covered in thick mist and nothing could be found high up in the sky. Therefore, after flying a circle around the foggy sea island, the figures of Tang Huan, Feng Ming, Zhao Budian, and Zhao appeared in the sky one after another. The aircraft had also shrunk to the limit and was placed in Tang Huan's embrace. Feng Ming, you and I will spread out to scout this island. Zhao I, follow Feng Ming. Tang Huan flapped his wings and ordered. Zhao I's strength was still above Feng Ming's. With it following Feng Ming, it wouldn't be a problem even if he met the heavenly domain level expertess. Moreover, this little fellow's cry was really loud, no matter which direction it roared at full power, the entire island would be able to hear it. Goo goo. The little white rabbit nodded and jumped onto Feng Ming's shoulder from Zhao Budian's back excitedly. Tang Huan, then we will go down first. I will head this way, and you go that way. Feng Ming patted her fiery red wings lightly, and looked at Tang Huan with a sweet smile. Be careful. Dot. A while later. Feng Ming had already dived down, and before even the blink of an eye, her and Zhao Ai's figure had already been engulfed by the dense fog. Tang Huan patted Zhao Budian's head and immediately retracted his wings. Like a meteorite, he jumped down a few hundred meters into the sky and was also quickly enveloped by the fog. Just by sensing it, Tang Huan's heart was immediately filled with amazement. This fog was not really clouds and mist but a strange power. One could clearly feel a great pressure coming from it. Of course, this kind of pressure didn't have any effect on Tang Huan, who was already a heavenly domain level expert. But, it was a huge threat to the stage 9 rankers. On this island, even if one did not do anything, as long as there was a cloud in the surroundings, one would have to circulate the genuine chi to fight it out. This meant that in the foggy sea island, the genuine chi would disappear like water. The stage 9 rankers, even the peak stage 9 rankers, would not be able to stay here for a long time. The same goes for stage 9 rankers. People under the stage 9, they couldn't even reach the island. At this moment, Tang Huan became more and more convinced that the secluded Night Divine Palace was actually within the foggy sea island, because no matter how many stage 9 experts he had, it was impossible for him to inspect the entire foggy sea island. If he left his base here, the secluded Night Divine Palace would never have to worry about it being completely annihilated. As for how the secluded Night Divine Palace resisted the invasion of the clouds and mist, Tang Huan was also rather curious. If all the clouds and mist on the island were to be mobilized, the power that would be released would be enough to destroy the heaven and earth. Ho! Tang Huan's body sank down quickly. At this time, Tang Huan's vision was already in a blur. Even with his strength, he could only vaguely make out the area within a few meters around him. However, his figure did not slow down in the slightest. Not long later, Tang Huan's feet touched the ground. Howl! Howl! In the next moment, a horrifying wailing sound could be heard, followed by several white skeletons crazily pouncing towards them. Inside the skulls, a red light flickered and a faint white luster covered their bodies. As they waved their claws, the strength chi stirred. These skeletons were actually not inferior to Martial Lordess of the Eighth Step. Tang Huan frowned, between the mind instructs. In a second, five colors heavenly domain erupted out from his body, quickly expanding. In just an instant, five colors heavenly domain and the few skeletons collided, and with a series of bangs, the skeletons were sent flying backwards while wailing. In a short moment, the Five Colors Heavenly Domain had covered an area of about a hundred meters. Within the boundaries of the Heavenly Domain, 
the clouds and mist had already been covered. Tang Huan's vision became clear, the ground was littered with scattered bones, and outside of the heavenly domain, there were not only the few skeletons that were bounced back, there were even more skeletons that pounced at him crazily, but they were all stopped over a hundred meters away, and the sounds of bones hitting and crying rose and fell one after another. Yeah, looking at this scene, Zhao Budian was surprised. Obviously, this was the first time seeing a skeleton that could move as though it was alive. Tang Huan's eyes flashed, the five colors heavenly domain shook slightly, and in the next moment, a skeleton broke through the heavenly domain's barrier and rushed forward, its speed shockingly fast. However, after rushing forward for only a dozen meters, the skeleton seemed to have noticed that something was wrong. Suddenly, it turned around and ran. Seeing that, Tang Huan laughed. In between the mind instructs, in a second, the space around the skeleton began to fluctuate rapidly. His body uncontrollably shot towards Tang Huan. After an instant, Tang Huan reached out and grabbed hold of the skeleton's neck easily. Woo you 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 you. The skeleton struggled with all its might, but under the heavenly domain's restriction, its range was extremely dangerous. Tang Huan's other hand was already on the skull of the skeleton, and a burst of powerful sucking power poured down from the palm. A moment later, the ball of blood red odor in the skull of the skeleton rose up, and landed on Tang Huan's left palm. The blood red odor struggled fiercely, trying to break free from Tang Huan's restraints. It was actually the soul of this skeleton. What Tang Huan wanted to do now was to search the skeleton's memories. Since secluded Night Divine Palace was hidden within the foggy sea island, it was impossible for them to not move about on the island. As long as they revealed any traces or clues, they would also be able to leave an impression on the foggy sea island's skeleton soul. That soul method true explanation encompasses everything, and just so happens to have a method called heart twining and soul searching method. As he thought about it, Tang Huan had already put the ball of skeleton souls into his two palms, while his own soul began to faintly fluctuate according to a strange rhythm. Not long after, an invisible force surged out from the depths of his soul and seeped into the red aura in his palm. The struggling range of the skeleton soul became weaker and weaker. After about 10 to 20 breaths, it had completely calmed down. Tang Huan slowly closed his eyes and carefully sensed his surroundings. However, after a short while, Tang Huan frowned. The skeleton did indeed have memories, but in its memories, there were only images of the skeletons. However, Tang Huan did not give up so quickly. Another small period of time had passed and Tang Huan was completely disappointed. In the skeleton soul, the older the memory, the more blurry it would be. In the end, it was completely empty. This time Tang Huan did not gain anything from using heart twining and soul searching method. Pa, he retracted his five fingers, and crushed the skeleton spirit, but after a while, Tang Huan let out a surprised cry as two pairs of eyes turned to look behind him from the right. 